like Bringus are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Echander shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the Studio Light shows on Echander. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp Limited. We're well known in the industry for designing and manufacturing top quality award-winning craft products. As with all craft projects, you need a good starting place, a great stamp, a top quality stencil, and in recent times we've developed the Groovy Parchment Art System so that your line art is perfect on parchment. Another exciting development to come from the marriage between Parchment and our stamp company is the fabulous designer papers and now the designer parchment. There is nothing like it. Each groovy plate is precision etched and by simply getting in the groove with a stylus you can easily transfer great designs onto parchment. Groovy is a modular system. The plates complement each other and work beautifully together. They are packed with elements and allow you to build your own original artwork. Whether you're a novice or a traditional parcher, you will love these plates. And for me personally, having beautiful line art is what motivated me to want to learn traditional parchment skills. So why not get in the groove with us here on her channel? Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dies in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. So on our Hope Chanda shows, we aim to inspire you to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show, so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Be sure to join us for our Sentimentally Yours shows on Hope Chanda. Flexi Order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. A very good evening if you are just sitting down for your time now this evening to enjoy and relax yourself here with us the whole team at Hachanda of course and I'm joined and it's a pleasure to be with the lovely Julie to take you through uh, on this one hello Julie hello how are you I'm very well thank you good good, good. you had a show earlier on we uh, did. With, with lovely Yanis yep we had a very good show busy show very busy show oh, right nothing no, no pressure no then. pressure <laughs> <laughs> no, that's low. But I'm not surprised, busy show, um, because these are, and I 
I'm going to show as many samples of these as possible. But you've got some beautiful stamps here that, that, that really, really do lend themselves to just splendor, wonder, just beautiful. Uh, yeah. They are gorgeous. They Tell are. us a little bit about your inspiration in here, what we're looking at. Uh, and I based it all around, um, it's called the Celebration com Complete Collection. Yeah. It was based around birthdays because that's the thing that we make the most cards for, right. the, the occasion. Yeah. Um, and just wanted different bits and pieces of mix and match together. Been asked for a back, big background stamp, so I right. did the sentiment one. And obviously, flowers are always good for cards. Yeah, yeah. And nice to have those big focal point sentiments as well as wanted something different with the mandala as well. So. Well, the, the, that, the, the man, I mean, they're all beautiful. The background stamps, particularly as well. So just talk to you exactly what we are going to be getting because we're going to be getting dyes and stamps you as are, well in yeah. this collection. And the, I'll talk about the prices in a second. It's phenomenal because um, you can get these individually. Now, this is a first of our sets, isn't it? It is. The so friendship. That, that's the friendship flower. So you've got the flower with the coordinating die um, works beautifully together but it looks just as good on its own as well it's really versatile the die got some sentiments in there and a lovely special friend word in background as well really lovely if you want to go for these on their own by the way if you're already inspired by those the bottom of the screen there eight two zero double three eight you can do you can go for those individually of course now if you want to go for these by the way today on flexi for the entire set uh, actually if you look at your payments on that 21 pounds 72 just two payments of those you're going to get a phenomenal value for money uh, for these as well really fantastic uh, we'll work our way uh, uh, along and come to these and then we'll give you more chance to see these as well now I love these your happy birthdays but that mandala yeah and the background it really lovely simple fonts that work for male cards or female cards got little hearts in between each of the sentiments you can use it as a background you can use part of it you can die cut into it you could cut strips of it and just have the word in it's really really useful to use and then the mandala one absolutely love that and with the big um, sentiments that you've got in there as well really bold they yep. look beautiful in black but they look really good embossed or done in colors as well That'll so really really versatile really again like you say striking strong you, yes. you're not but, in any un unsure about what your sentiments are no, here, are you and because I wanted it with the mandala you can use it. it's great to do on Twinky backgrounds right okay so if you've got lots of color and anything you need some impact with yes. the sentiment yeah I love that I really love the wording as well with these um, with that with that background because th there's one of those it's one of those cards you get you you really when you read or you see something like that the sentiment just comes flooding at you because you read it's that repetitive feel about that or you, yes. you're getting that same message but you're getting it sort of put across in so many wonderful different ways yeah. you can't yeah. help but go they really do genuinely mean it yeah <laughs> absolutely absolutely so hazel's made this one she's used the background stamp and then the daisy tag that she's done onto black which just looks beautiful that's pretty that's really pretty and that. then one of the mandala sentiments that she's cut down a uh, lovely mix of all of those together yeah, so they it's... everything will mix and match and work so if you go for the bundle really everything does work so beautiful Beautifully. Really does. It's it's fabulous. Uh, I really and love that one. Marion, um, Marion's made that one, and a little bit of embossing with the heart on it. And again, just the background, just is it's just so versatile and so so good to use. That is lovely. It's really lovely, really lovely. Don't forget, it's all part of that complete bundle. And we're not done with that complete bundle <laughs> yet. We still got even more to add on to there as well. Uh, we've got uh, two of the a. Um, there we go. We got the little. We got the fabulous tag that's in there as well the data tag as well and the birthday best wishes for you again lovely additions to this as a yeah, group, so the, the daisy tag I've actually cut out and used as a gift tag on a present and it worked beautifully so you could use it for for presents as well as oh, that's a nice idea putting them onto cards as well and then the sentiments you can have them as a focal point work really well for men's cards or Look for at, female cars. No, That's the mandala, go. isn't that beautiful? That is amazing, isn't it? Who's done that one? Sue Morgan made that oh, one. Oh, lovely, Sue. That is fabulous. That. And I have to thank all the design teams. I have to thank Kaz and Emma and Hazel and Marion and Philippa and Sue because I couldn't do the shows without no. them they, and you get to see such versatility with the stamps as well, well that, that's the lovely thing isn't it and yeah, I mean look how different that, same stamp that. and look how different that looks very different when you start again but it, it's one of those stamps as well though Jude, when you look at that and you think it just even a black image on yes. white paper yep. 
it's so beautifully detailed that actually the, the stamp's done so much of the work for Absolutely. you. But then it's in, in if you pick that next one up, Look the blue that. one, so that's the same stamp again, but Hazel's made this and she's actually cut into the mandala. Oh, that's really but lovely. But I love how she's used the wording down the edge as well. So don't yeah. think you have to use it as a whole. No. You know, you can use part of it as well. In fact, just using it as part, a very different feel it to does. that, isn't it? And the little hearts that you've got on there, they come in with the flower set. Oh, so yeah, just lovely. those little highlights. Just really, really useful. Uh, it, it's, it was a really, really, really busy show earlier on, um, again, when Judy was on. Um, and, and you can understand why now when you see this. How would this fit in uh, with your style? How are you going to interpret these stamps and work with these and actually bring to these as well? Because there is so much in here, actually. Um, let me just uh, give you some other examples as well as we sort of look through um, with all the sort of different feels you're going to get. That, that one uh, that we're looking at at the moment, Emma Smith made that. And the, the, in, the work in those flowers, she's embossed every single flower and then cut, hand cut them out but she's used them with the die cut leaves and the sentiment as well and it's just incredible that, that is look at the work in that beautiful fabulous that's a very luscious piece isn't, isn't it? it beautiful it's, yeah it really is it really is it is gorgeous this um, if you want to go for these, by the way, your Freedom Flexi is working at 19.55. That's your delivered price, by the way, on that. So that is a really phenomenal price point. And you could get these home, and then you'll be working with these as well. And, and whether you're inspired by what everyone's put together here already, or maybe, I don't know, do you just look at a stamp, and does that inspire you? Do you, are you inspired by anything else that's going around a and work with them? Absolutely. Yeah, you can look at it, and like, if you get lots of ideas, then you obviously know you're onto a winner. I mean, I, I love that one as well. Marion's done that with embossing powders, cut it in half, opened it up, and then put the sentiment inside. That is, they are lovely, really lovely. And oh, then, there we go, look. I uh, just, amazing, they're all the same stamp, you know? <laughs> but it just looks so different. That one's from Kaz. But that. she's used the Sending Happy Thoughts tag that comes in uh, with the Friendship yes. Flower as well. Yes, Yeah, look at these again. Oh, the, the sentiments, by the way, the font on the sentiments. It's and, and that's it embossed onto, bed. I'm actually going to do that as part of one of my demos. Oh, lovely. But how beautiful does that look in Bosch? You don't look at, miss any of the detail. No, They're no. super, super high quality polymer stamps, so you get really good results. And and something, you know, the, the best wishes to you again. You know, most of those are going to be for very special occasions Absolutely. where you know that it's going to be on the mantelpiece with somebody. If it's yeah. something like that against quite grand pieces, this is going to hold their own and some, isn't it? Really? And it, and it will go for lots of different occasions yes, as well. Best wishes, which is why we put it in there. So. Really, really lovely. Oh, and how well, different well, is well. that? So that's Sue Morgan's made that one, and I love how she's cut part of the mandala out yeah. and actually used that for the corners. So clever. That is, it's really maximising your usage again. Look, I just want to show a couple more again as we go through on these, just sort of going across the board. And there's a couple others why I didn't, I didn't show at the beginning because it, yeah, it's a, so such a lovely collection. Uh, although they're all sort of quite different, have a different feel about them. They collectively work, complement yeah, each definitely. other. Yeah, definitely. I mean that one. Uh, Sue Morgan's made that one again. I think it was Sue, it might have been Hazel, I'm not sure now. Uh, oh, no, not, they've um, not put a little name on this one. But I love the wording down the side, and I love how she's just picked a few of the flowers out and cut those out as yeah. well. Yeah, very, very, oh, that's nice and bright. It's got a very spring feel about isn't that, that, isn't that lovely? And well. that's a, like a one-layer card. Kaz has made that. She's just added the tag to it as well. So beautiful. That is gorgeous. Look, and I've just got a couple more from this style as well that we uh, can look I, at. That one that you're showing now, I love that. Marion's made that, but she's cut into the die and just used one of the flowers. So you don't oh, have yeah. to use the die as it comes. You know, don't be afraid to to cut in and just use the flowers on it as well. Really, really fabulous. Absolutely beautiful. I tell you what, it's proving very, very busy. Uh, we are very busy. We are now, have we really got limited stock? Oh, we wow. are limited <laughs> stock. And it is the last show we've got this evening uh, with, with Julie. So um, it is limited, 643864, uh, and you'll be getting all of this. And it is a phenomenal saving, a fantastic price point when you think of all of this together from those individually. Uh, and if you are flexi, you are getting this for a fantastic offer. Just £19.55, that means it's delivered to you for that price of your first of your two payments uh, for under £20, £19.55. Uh, you can see, we can see, and I'm really glad that Julie's here to see as well, that it has gone limited. A lot of people really, really loving. I think it's the spectrum they've got in here as well, because whether it is just black and white with the, yep. those images, yep. or as we've seen... Adding lots of colour, so inky backgrounds, colour. cutting into the die cut, there's so much you can do with it. There is. I mean, I, look at that onto pattern paper. 
absolutely stunning. It is. It is. And, I, and I'm still, I'm, maybe it's the simplest, I don't know whether the simplest is, is, a, is a giving it justice as well. But the background stamp in there as well. Yep. But I just think that's for all ages as well. Yeah, that's for, for male, female, yep. all ages of the spectrum. Yep. It's going to be one of those go to background pieces, isn't I it? I mean, you look at that just stamped black onto white. Yeah. And then on the counter where we've got the, the one that I've stamped with a rainbow background and I die cut the heart out of it. Yes. And put the flower on it. there. So there we are. I mean, I bet that's exactly the same stamp. Yeah. So that is lovely. It's just so versatile. I'm so uh, glad that somebody asked me, if, would I do a background stamp? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's not get, they've got to ask you to do more things as well, so thanks, more backgrounds. Yeah, thanks, Debbie, for that. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Debbie. Look what's happened. We're, we've got a limited stop with it. Uh, <laughs> six, four, three, eight, six, four. I urge you to get yours into your basket now before they have all gone, so you can get it delivered right now, so you can get on with those. It's going to be one of those go-to stamps, a lot of them, and again, you're going to really, really, really enjoy working with those. It is limited stock as well. Now, we have got a few other pieces as well. We're going to get to some lovely demonstrations, of course, with Julie, but we have got some others for you. And if you're loving your glossies, uh, how about these? Uh, you've got three of your packs. You've got your mini hearts. You've got your packs of your dots. 270 dots and 150 hearts. Now, we've already seen some of these in action, yes, haven't we, with there, these? there's lots on the cards, and they're just the perfect finishing touch for a card. They give you that lovely dimension, but they're obviously shiny because they're glossy. Um, but they just look they just look beautiful and I did the colours around the distressed ink pads that I use. Oh. So lots so I wanted them to match in That's when I nice used idea. them. I wanted them to, to coordinate well. So we picked colours that worked with ink pads that we know so many people have got. I mean right. look at those little hearts in between that. They're great. It's just beautiful. In fact I've got I've got some um, examples here and it's it's that thing almost sometimes where the, you can really go to town with it or that of whole the, the old the old law of yep. less is less is more. Absolutely. But just to accent here, as you can see just a couple of those um, within the best wishes just uh, on, on the corners how beautiful but 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 again look here just a couple of those that are in there some of them with the printing we've got behind but it's just because of that bit of dimension and the yeah. fact that they're shiny your eye catches onto it it's just beautiful it is the perfect finishing touch for your cards let's and that's the only one with that with the love hearts in there look at that it, just sometimes when you make a card, it's like you finish and you think, it just needs a little right. something else. And right. that's what they are just brilliant for. And they really do work. So 270 dots, 150 hearts. Now, if you work on the ratio of what we've just been looking at, so the one I've got in my hand has got four or five, for example. The other one has got three little dots on. You know, but you can see how three made a big impact. Don't forget here, you're going to be getting uh, 270 of those, you know, and plus your 150 hearts on top of that. So, you know, you don't need a lot of those. So this, uh, as a package, is going to go a long, long way. £14.94 uh, only. Again, it will complement those blends we've seen as well, uh, exactly uh, what we were just talking about. So 881-017 is your item code. Um, they're lovely. Oh, see, I love, I don't even love that gradient. I love in the monochrome, the black yeah, going through really the grey. Good, really good for men's cards as well, yeah. those colours. And it works out the price is you pay for five but you get six so oh. you get a whole pack for free is that with the saving we got in yep. there as well so yep. you pay five but you're actually getting six yeah um, so that a really good saving do take advantage right now while that offer is available for you eight eight one zero one seven right Julie let's do what we you do best <laughs> well, no, what I do best is I just stand there now <laughs> and, I, and I love to learn so what are we looking okay. at to start with Julie? so the first card that I'm gonna make is this one with the mandala and I'm going to use the background as well so I've already created an inky background to use with it and then I'm going to do I did silver glitter embossing on this one but I'm going to do platinum Ooh. for something because I like to make something different when right. I do the next one okay so I've, I've already got my backgrounds ready because I wanted them to be dry and ready to go to with, yeah. so got my piece that I'm going to use for my background first of all and I'm going to place it into my stamping press and I gave a little tip on the first show is because the background stamp is a big stamp and it's going to take up nearly all of the paper mm. there's not a lot of room to put your magnets on so to hold your piece of paper in if you just put a little bit of tape runner onto your oh, okay onto the, the mat that's in the press and push that down that now holds the piece of card Ooh, in a, place 
That's a useful tip across the board, isn't it, that one? So then I make sure I've got it up the right way. I can place this down, so I don't need to use my magnets. So that's the happy birthday stamp that's This is the background of, one. The background yep. comes, uh, comes with the mandala, that stamp as It well. does, yep. And then I'm just going to take a black ink pad and ink this up. What is it about text in, in cards that oh. really works? That... Well, I have a, a real love for fonts. Yeah. So, and I, the designer that I work with, Steph, who I, I draw everything. And obviously, I didn't draw the, the text. No, right. <laughs> no. But we, we start off like, and she trans, transfers my designs into, uh, makes them into stamps for me. Um, and we both have a love of fonts. And so we started off, we had one first of all, and it was like, no. Oh, okay. And then it was like, then she sent me this one. It's like, yes, that's it. <laughs> but it's, you know, it's true. You know, the, the, just, the, the just, type of font. Oh, it's so important. It, because if you think about on, on a computer now, if you're working in Word, for example, yep. how many font oh. options are there? And yep. that's for a reason. I mean, because yep. the right font for the right message, Absolutely. the feeling, the sentiment behind it, it it's a... It's a bit of a minefield, really, it but like is. you say, you know yep. when it's right and you know when it's wrong. <laughs> yeah, because my, I would say that my style is quite contemporary, right? and so I wanted a contemporary font yeah. that would work. So not only will it work with the stamps that we've got in this collection, but all the previous collections ah, that great. I've had, it will work with those as well. Perfect. And I just can't get over that, that it is so easy and clear to read that. That looks great. Isn't, isn't that beautiful? It really is. I do love that. Amazing. And all those little hearts in between I as know. well. You can pick them. And even if you emboss it, it still comes up beautifully. We could a couple of little glosses over those as well. Yeah, they, they, they would definitely. Fit um, I think there was something. I can't remember who I heard this from. I'm sure there was something. that There's almost a psychology about this. When there is font or there is text, that we are... So there's something in our brain that we, we are sort of built in to us that we want to know what the message is we we have oh, we are right. curious that we want we have to try and read it we try to look it into it oh. um, and so it's not just there that you do take on so whatever the sentiment is yeah we really it really does we we we're in tune with trying to work out what's the message that's going through on those oh, and I can't right. who for the life of me now mentioned that to me but i thought well there's something there's got to be something in there just to let you know by the way the glosses are limited stock now. Oh, wow. The glosses have also <laughs> now gone limited stock. I told you. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Very busy show. Uh, so basically, you're paying for five. You're getting six, though, for the price of five here with that saving. 881 zero one seven um are we going to see some in this demo as well yes gonna, definitely oh. they will be on this card well let's, uh, if there's any left in stock <laughs> <laughs> so i have i've wiped my piece of card with my anti-static bag and i have used my wow embossing ink pad and i'm going to stamp this twice because i've actually done this onto watercolor card so it's got a slight texture to oh, it okay. so to make sure that i get enough ink down to hold my embossing powder if i just stamp it twice then that should be fine. And I know that my piece of card hasn't moved because it's stuck down and I use oh, yeah. my magnets too. So there's no way it could well move. There, the texture. <laughs> yeah, it's lovely. OK, so I need a piece of paper and I've got my platinum embossing powder this time, which is my favourite one. Oh. I love this colour. So oh, just tip that over. My day's not been complete without a bit of embossing. You're oh. seeing this come to... It's, it's, it's one like of those... magic, it isn't is. it? I mean, I, I've been stamping for well, probably nearly 30 years now, and uh, it was heat embossing that actually got me into crafting all those years ago. And it's still, every time I do it now, even, it still yeah. does it. I remember I did one of the first times I saw it on her channel, one of the first times presenting. Yeah. I've been here just under, well, just under five years. And, um, and I remember just looking at her going, do that again. Yeah, that, <laughs> well, that's exactly what yeah. I went to a demonstration and a lady was, was stamping. <laughs> And I said, exactly that, do that again. And about, after about 10 goes, she said, could you go away, please? <laughs> <laughs> and that, honestly, that's a true story. Oh, she did brilliant. tell me, like, please go away. So I'm heating from underneath, and this gives you a much smoother finish when that's you do lovely. your embossing. I tell you, this, this really lends itself to this, doesn't it? Oh, that's lovely. You're catching it beautifully. I know, isn't it? I tell you what, I don't like to say it too often, but Jimmy's quite good. I was going to say, director. Jimmy's brilliant, isn't he? Never said it about Molly, <laughs> who was directing back then. Whatever happened to Excellent. her? Excellent. Oh, look at that. That is just... 
<laughs> that looks beautiful. Yeah, she's in my ear now even more so. <laughs> just going to be very careful what we say about lovely Molly. OK, so I'm just going to trim this down and then I can stick this on the front and then I just need to cut round my mandala and stick that on. So I don't know if you want to show... Do you want to show some samples so that I'm... You're not just watching me trimming. Oh, well, no, I, I can always show some more samples. Um, we've, got, we've got plenty um, to work through. I'm just trying to pick a few out again with, uh, with some of the background uh, to look at as you're working with that one. Yes, that would be um, good. And, uh, and also a couple more with the mandala, because uh, that's part of the same set. Although, don't forget, if you're going for the complete... Sorry, you just had the top of my head then. Some would say it's the best part. That or the top of the <laughs> turn, face it that way is even better. Um, but um, this is this is lovely actually because we got this on um, on your background. That's going to give you a bit of your mirror card. Oh, isn't it lovely? Oh, Hazel's that. made that. Isn't it beautiful on that rainbow card? That is lovely. That is lovely. So we're looking at that. It's like that's part of the friendship, isn't it? On the flower, yes. the duo. Yeah. Uh, but just wanted to see how that works, even on the rainbow card. Um, for that, which is which is really really gorgeous. Um, there again, and we're talking again about the background here with that lovely inky background, um, which is which is absolutely stunning. Um, let's go. Oh, by the way, it is getting busy again on the phone lines. We're up to a three-minute phone line queue at the moment. So of course, the website is the best way if you want to make sure you don't miss out on this. So this has got a lovely mix. We've got the lovely background on here. We've got that mandala that's in here. And again, we've got those beautiful little love hearts that are going through uh, that work with this. They are fabulous. Let's find some again that work with, well, if they're just about in, another one with the glosses. So we've actually got the glosses here. We've got the dots. I think it's 270 of the dots or 100 and yeah, something. Uh, and 150 of the hearts. And 150 of the hearts. Whoa. Tell you what, I was close. I was <laughs> you well were, there. you did um, very well. Uh, but again, really work. I love it. So you've got the, the printing, uh, you've got the stamping again in the, back with the, uh, in the background of there with the mandala. But look at that as a feature with it, with one of those glosses right in the centre. Of the, uh, of the mandala itself there and of course you've also got that beautiful sentiment that works with it so they, they honestly there's such a variety of ways of working with them isn't there yeah and really just I think lovely. seeing all the design teams cards as well just gives you that versatility and you know just so much inspiration and we've got um, a Pinterest board for every single stamp set as well so oh, great. if people are stuck for any ideas then there's plenty on there from everybody Really nice. Uh, 643864, that's for the whole collection, that's 17 stamps and your one die in there, which is absolutely f fantastic value for you. 4344 uh, from your price down um, with, the, with the introductory off. Now if you want to go for your Flexi Freedom, look at that, just two payments, delivered to your door for your first payment at just 1955. And you're getting 17 stamps, including that lovely background uh, that you've seen there and that gorgeous mandala to work with and that die. Uh, and in fact, you're almost saving the price here, of course, uh, with that saving that's in there of one of the larger ones, uh, the, the, um, the actual stamps is included here. So 643864, really good time to get that. And we are limited stock. It is the final hour uh, with Judy for your chance. It was a really busy show earlier on. It's proving exactly the same. Again, we've had sellouts on it, things back in. So do take advantage right now. Um, when was the last time you was in, Julie? Oh, back in August. Was it back in August, yes. was it? Yeah. yeah. I think people have been waiting for you to be back <laughs> on the screen. <laughs> OK, so I've cut out my mandala, my embossed mandala, so that's ready now to go onto my card. And I like to have it so that it's overhanging. It just right. draws your eye to it a little bit more mm. then. Then I've got a piece of card, which I can put in my misty as well and I'm going to stamp the happy birthday I think out of this one mm -hmm. and I'm going to do this in a coloured ink so I'm going to use an ink that matches in with what I've got on my inky backgrounds so pick that up and so I'm using Mermaid Lagoon for this one that's going to give me a lovely turquoisey blue and That's I shall nice. need to stamp it twice because my ink pads are desperate to be re-inked. Oh. I do work them though, they get, they get <laughs> used a lot. They uh. really do. But that's the beauty of if you use a stamping press, you can you put can. it back in. Yeah, that's and a then true I can, point actually, yeah. I can stamp it again 
until I've got a dark enough ink for, for what I wanted. So really making that, actually though, they are good then to really maximise getting the most out of those stamps that, oh, like you definitely. say, are, are, are due a bit of retirement. I don't think I could stamp with, well I can stamp with a block now, but I, I actually do use it in a stamping press. So right. I, I still stamp with a block, but with a, a card on the, the press. Yeah, yeah. Just because it's, the cushion is so good as well. So I'm trimming this down. It's a nice colour, that. Lovely, isn't mm. it? I know it's going to work beautifully with my background because that was the colours that I've used to create the inky background. And then... I think I'm going to stick oh, it it's all coming back. Nice that, I'm yeah. going to stick it back onto a piece of white because I need to lift it off slightly it's going to get lost in the <coughs> the blue background if i put that on my card now it gets a bit lost oh, so I if see. i put it onto Just white card a bordery kind of yeah and, and add that bit of border how is uh well just while you're putting that one on there as well the, the whole sort of the social distancing, the lockdown, or something like that. How has it been with your crafting community oh. and uh, people that's near to you? And uh... it's actually been like, as far as the crafting bit goes, it's been fantastic for us. Yeah, great, um, great. We've been doing lots of online workshops. So oh, that's, lovely. Yeah, that's really helped. Yes. Um, and it's it's helped me keep me sane, but it's also I've had so many people say like, don't stop them because it's you know we look forward to it so much. Yeah, lovely. So yeah, no, it's been really good. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay. I think I think we are. Well, I think there's a lot of people that are joining us now that have found us dur during that, that. Yeah, absolutely. That are learning lots for the first exactly. time and, as well. And crafts is so therapeutic. Yeah. You know, it's so good for you. Look how well these. They do. <laughs> you said you matched them. They match perfectly. You could not have got a better match on those. So I'm going to put them onto my white piece, and I've got different sizes, so it's nice to have big ones and little ones. And we'll have a couple more down here. And then what I can do, because I want something to show up on my blue. If I put the blue on there, it's such a good match. Yeah. It's not really going to show. No, no. So it would be much better. We can go with our black or the grey oh, yeah, yes. even or the white. And just pull out. So you're just drawing your eye yeah. in towards that sentiment every time. Oh, and that's so fabulous. that was the one in platinum. And that's the one. In silver sparkle. Oh, isn't that lovely? Absolutely. Do you know what those? Um, the uh, glosses the, the, just make it, don't they? they? They do. And it's something about. And every time, I mean, every day is a learning day on Hachanda anyway for me. <laughs> but there was that, like you say, just breaking up the white space. Yes, definitely. With the glosses makes yes, a difference on definitely. those. Yes, definitely. And it, because the colours match so well, but it just draws your eye over to that side uh, yeah. of the card then as well. Are you okay to give them a little wiggle, a little tilt for a, 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 a little crafty wiggle, so they can catch it? There oh, we can go. Catch the, Sorry, Jimmy, you did no. tell me to wiggle. No, so, <laughs> so, uh, he loves that instruction. Uh, <laughs> it's the only time he gets away with it. Although I was walking down the corridor earlier this afternoon and he asked me to do it then, so <laughs> there, there we go. Um, of course I did it, I obliged. Uh, they, they, look, they look absolutely fantastic, <laughs> in both of those. So thank you so much indeed. Um, we will come straight back uh, as well in, in a second, but let me just give you a, a round up again. This is your chance as well, just while we reset as well, uh, and Julie gives you some more lovely hints and tips and inspiration. Um, now's your chance to just make sure you get this into your basket now um, before they do go. Please be warned that they are limited stock. Now there's a huge saving on this one regarding what you're getting this home for if you went on your Freedom Flexi for example. Now again looking at the complete collection that you're looking at here, 17 stamps. Now, you know, in there you've got sentiments, you've got your backgrounds, you've got your bold stamps, you've got the mandala to work with, you've got the beautiful tag to work with again. Um, all of those lovely little moments, the love hearts, the smaller, the trios, the larger the la love hearts that you can work with. The way that you can cut into the mandala, work them in so many different ways, just in black and white, in the colours if you're going to go with that. Mix and match in across the board with all of these. You are getting a phenomenal, phenomenal set to work with, which is going to give you so many options, I think you'll agree, for so many different ways of working. I'm just going to just give you a couple of examples again, a bit of a mega mix of all the different styles that have been seen and being used here uh, and, and hopefully uh, you'll uh, you'll look at this while I'm showing these um, 
Don't forget to get these into your basket so that by the time we come back to Julie, you can concentrate on the most important thing, which is uh, Love You Julie's demonstrations. But just looking at the different ways that are is all working, this is all from that set. And as I go through these, I hope you'll get a real understanding of the different ways you can work with it. So uh, it's a similar one that we've just been seeing, the stamp with a happy birthday, but we've got the birthday wishes here, but just that repeated all the way through with the floral, with the background again that's in there. So it's a really strong, bold way of working. Um, lovely use again of the, of the colours that bring these in with the floral. Again, that you've got the, uh, the flowers uh, that you find on the outside there. You've got the tag there again. Uh, thank you, special friends, um, for all those different styles and different looks. And again, these can work, to, I'd say, for male, for female, um, whichever, for any age, I think you'll agree that these are really stunning. And if you really love your colouring in as well, then the mandala, for example, is certainly one of those that's going to allow you a lot of fun and a lot of opportunity to do so. So you can see you're getting a huge amount of inspiration from all of these. Now your Flexi Buy, don't forget, is going to be a fantastic opportunity to do that for as well. Uh, two payments, £21 and 72 pence. If you're a Freedom member, of course, that payment is down to 19.55, and that's delivered for those payments, of course. That's 643 eight six four phenomenal opportunity uh, if you want to go for the entire collection as i say it is limited stock if you would like to go for these individually, of course, then that is there for you to choose from. If you want to go, of course, for the Friendship Flower, that's the A6 stamp and the Die Duo. So there's eight stamps that you can see on there as well. Plus, you go to get that floral die to work with those. You can get that on its own. That's 820 pounds and 48 pence only if you want to go with that one. If you want to go for your mandala, that also has the thank you, sending love, happy birthday and birthday wishes, those that you've just seen in the examples and also that you've seen that Julie's been working with, with that amazing background there, of course, with a happy birthday background, then that's available on their own at 251228, and that's just £16.98, and pence, which is a phenomenal price. And we've also got the baby tags and the birthday wishes. If you want to go for these, that's two of your A7 uh, stamp sets there with a daisy tag, like I say, and the birthday wishes. That's under a tenner. That's just 998 236608 is your item code for those. Uh, again, if you're going to spoil for choice, Go for the entire lot if you can do. 4344, limited stock, 643864, or flexi payments, 1955. Now, we've also got the glosses, and you can see how they are been working. Pretty much on most of the examples, you've seen the glosses that are there. You get the dots, and you're also going to get 270 dots, there you are, and 150 love hearts. Did there have to be love hearts? There to be hearts. Well, I, I, I just love heart, so I would use a heart any time. Uh, yeah, that's fair <laughs> enough. I'll go with that. I'm not going to argue with Julie, I can tell you. Uh, <laughs> 1994 for your lovely dots and your beautiful hearts and the colours here. You've got everything. You've got your beautiful soft pastels, soft pinks, and you've got your tranquil colours in there of the aquatic colours. You've got your monochrome, your black, your silvers, your greys. Then you've got your love hearts. You've got your bold greens, beautiful blues, purples, uh, the whites as well. Again, working if you've got those darker backgrounds backgrounds as you saw working there uh, with uh, what Judy was suggesting as well. Just a great way of breaking up those colours for you. 881017, uh, it's uh, 14 pounds and 94. Basically you're buying five, you're getting six. Uh, you're paying for five and you're getting six of these sheets to go through. So really good offer available for you also. Also if you are looking for some card stock Again, there's a lot of people that are watching for the first time as well. A lot of people that are running low on their stock as well. You always want to go, they put this on specially for me. It's just super smooth. Yes, it's, it's what I always ask for when I go to the barbers uh, before they ask me to leave. Um, but this is going to give you your A4, and it is super smooth. I'll never forget the time when I said, how smooth is this? I think it's smoother than my head. Fiona walked in, stroked my head. And basically agreed that this is smoother than my head. Now, I mean, I'm not saying that's a massive testament, but it's very, <laughs> it, it doesn't happen regularly, that, by the way. Um, it was a random moment. I was lost for words. But all you need to know is 
you can't get smoother. Uh, 13 98 eight pounds off on your seven day saver. It's 300 GSM, so perfect if you are using this again for construction, and 160 sheets in total. 617168. Now, I'm going to show you all that can go on to this. Not my head. That's the difference. That is smoother and takes a lot more than what my head takes. Uh, so you can use your sprays, all your blending tools, your stencils with your blending tools, your wet ink you might as well you'll be using here, your eyes inks of course, your archival uh, inks, your smoothies. Um, you've got so many different ways of working with your super smooth of course. You've got your brushos in there, you've got your watered down brushos as well, water uh, actual brusho dry onto your car that you can work with as well. For stamping it's perfect, um, for your wonderful um, oxides it will go with of course. Um, all your sprays, your texture paste as well, your chalk paints will work on that. Um, it's phenomenal, you can cover it with everything and anything. Like I say, please don't get that confused, that's the super smooth, not my head. 617168, the best place to go to, we've had some very busy phone lines during this, uh, this evening's show, um, please go to the website. Find everything uh, that you need. Um, you can go for them individually or you can go for the complete. Oh, so she's going for here. Well, she's going for the complete. She's adding some glosses in there as well. Oh, she's going to go for some super, super smooth as well. Um, you're going to put that onto your flexi? Do like it. It's okay. We're not spying on her, by the way, everyone. She's okay to do this. She's had uh, permission from the business. Uh, uh, there we go. 36 pounds, 18 pence, of course. Uh, uh, 40, per, 40 pounds and 30 of course there. Uh, what a deal. All of that you're getting for that. Uh, Hachanda.com or if I go the old fashioned way, www.hachanda.com. Right, she just ticked on the agree to terms and conditions. You <laughs> noticed that. She did do that. Uh, right. Oh, Judy, you ready to wiggle? I am ready to wiggle. <laughs> Look at how beautiful is this card. Emma That's Smith lovely. has made it. And the embossing on there of those mandalas, you don't lose any of the detail. It just looks absolutely beautiful. And she's actually um, put acid, she stamped onto acetate as well and added oh. some glosses on there. Just beautiful. And the sentiment is embossed behind on the in oh, white. That's, oh, I see. Isn't that lovely? That's really good, She's isn't got it? like a banner that's a bit wiggly. It just looks beautiful. Oh, I like that. So I wanted to show that that Emma made. And very quickly, I wanted to show this one that Philippa made. So this has got beautiful, so she's actually heat embossed oh. the die. So that's another really lovely thing to do with it. all of your design it. team yeah. again that have been busy here. Oh, oh I love that. The alphabet set that we've had on before, just using part of the die mm. as well. Oh, wow. And then using that in the set, the wording in the centre. But just look at, oh, how gorgeous does that look? Oh, look at and that. And she's used the background. You know, when you start looking at it, you see more and more detail. She's used the background stamp as well on there. It's just beautiful. That is lovely. So, um, the whole of the design team, there was a little, a little banner at the bottom there just saying thank you very much indeed. Um, oh, thank you. Uh, That's lovely. Yeah, so there we go. You see, they, they've, done, they've done a lovely job. I was just also thinking with the mandala for that. Um, uh, it's a lovely, again, the sort of a wintery, you could convert yeah. that to a lovely Philippa's, wintery feel, Philippa isn't it? actually turned one of them into a Christmas card. Ah, You've did showed I miss it. that one? Did I show green. that one earlier? It's got wishing you, it's in that pile, I think, that you just had. Oh, right. It's a blue and green one. Pressure, pressure. And it says, wishing you a Merry Christmas. Oh, no. No, Ooh, maybe not. it's at the... Maybe it's, uh, I'll maybe have a it's look. this part. I'll have a Shall look. Shall I do my demo when you yes, find it? Yes, thank you for saving me. <laughs> how about that? <laughs> <laughs> OK, so I'm going to show you how to make this card. So I made it with... Out of oranges and everything. So this is an inky background that I made before. But I wanted to show you that you can cut the flower out and add that as dimension and the leaves as well so that it gives a, a different look to your tag. So because I've done it out of orange, first of all, I like to do it out of a different colour. So I've got a bluey green uh, background that I've already done here. And I'm just going to stamp it in black on the top. So I'm using Versafine Claire, which I really love as a black. It gives you such a beautiful, crisp impression. Found it! <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Everyone was like that. I'll ask him to look for something else again. He was so <laughs> quiet. It was lovely. <laughs> Julie could concentrate. I did find it. There we go. We were just talking about that. That's sort that of the festive the feel. Yeah, so Philip has actually created a Christmas card, but using the mandala. So depending on what colours you use, you know, you can yeah. dictate. And if you look in the background, you can see the mandala pattern in the background oh, as well. It's, beautiful. Here, it's so clever. Yeah, really pretty. So clever. Sorry, I'm Julie, so I just lucky. got no, a little, no, no, a little spurge of excitement there when I found it. <laughs> okay, so before I take 
just I've turned my piece of card off over and I'm just going to take the tag out and I'm just going to stamp my sentiment so that's all done as well ready to go on so I can just cut that out then so should we go with the thank you sentiment this time something different and I can place that down. I want to have a bit of the blue showing around the edge so that it stands out on my card. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to use the black ink pad again. So I'm only going to get the colour of the blue showing in, in the letters and around the edge this time. But I just wanted to show you how beautiful this black... Yeah. Oh, just See, that's... And it's just amazing. It's like, I made that. Yeah. That's mine. <laughs> do, you you still, know? Do, you, do you still get like that? Do you still... Oh, absolutely. And when I'm on workshops and people are using my stamps and creating with them, it's like, I drew that. <laughs> That's well, great, though. Because I would have said, like, two years ago, I couldn't even draw. Really? Yeah, honestly. <laughs> I, I couldn't draw at all, and I practised and practised. I did individual petals, the first one I ever did. Really? And traced each individual petal did to make mean? a flower. Wow. Yeah? And I just persevered, and, yeah, and now look... So in cra just just in general then for, for for crafting for yourself then when when was it I mean was it always a, a sort of a passion or something no. you enjoyed doing from no. an earlier age no. or no I, I was was a secretary and I got into stamping like to do heat embossing never really wanted to do my own designs or or draw and yeah it just just came about wow. I did a, a paper range first of all I think you say a paper round for a second no no I? no. <laughs> No, I didn't ever do one of them. Um, I did a paper range for a company I used to work for, and then it went from there, and then started like really trying to draw with the flowers. And yeah, this is where we are today. Oh, wow, wow. It's, it's amazing. So, I'll tell you what, you're an inspiration. If there's anyone that's watching and yep. thinking, do you know what? I'm, am I a little bit late coming to it? I mean, no, is it not something at all. that people. It, it's no, there's no age to start or to stop. Definitely is there, really? not. No. I mean, this is two years now. Paula and I have been doing the Julie Hickey design, so. Yeah. And it's just going from strength to strength. It's fantastic. Oh, and I have to lovely. thank everybody for their support, you know, their continued support. It's just been amazing. Oh, no, it's, it, it's and, and all credit to you and congratulations for all the success. Because thank it's, you. They, they, it is beautiful. And, and it, if, that, if that doesn't inspire you to sort of think, you know, there, there, may, there may be the secretary watching right now that <laughs> thought, do you know what, I've always fancied getting a little yeah. bit more artistic. Than, than, you than, do than, it. Than, Practice. Please. Take, yeah. take Julie as your, as your inspiration. Uh, I just want to mention a, an email, by the way. Uh, I think we had an email come through from Jane uh, and, and, uh, from the earlier show that came through as well. And uh, Jane was saying she's loved Julie's um, designs uh, for all across the years, basically, as well, oh. which is lovely as well. A very talented lady, she says as well. Oh. Great to see her back on our screens. I totally agree with you as well, which is lovely. I think we got an image as well that I think that Jane has sent through. Uh, oh, oh, there we go. That's lovely. Uh, beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> I, d I, I taught them how to make that butterfly. <laughs> you see? Oh, oh that's that, lovely. Thank that you very gorgeous. much. Uh, so if you're thinking about, when's your birthday? When's your birthday? My birthday? Yeah. July. July, right. So if you're going to get making, if you're starting out, <laughs> You know, if you can use the techniques as well, or if you've got new techniques that you can send through on a birthday card, come July to Julie <laughs> as well. She'll nick those ideas and, <laughs> and take them as well, uh, which is lovely. Uh, who was that email from? Sorry. Oh, Douglas has also been in touch. The stamps are amazing. Samples are beautiful as well. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you, Julie, for brilliant demonstrations again oh. as well. And, and actually, uh, goes on to ask about where did you get your inspiration from, or where do you get your inspiration oh, from? Everywhere. Really? Yes. Um, home, homeware, like home decor oh, stuff right, as yes. well. Okay, yeah, um, yeah. Looking on Instagram, just anywhere. Yeah, it's, it's around you everywhere. Yeah. I just recently went away with my husband for a weekend, and we went to Audley End. Audley House. End. Oh, okay. And they had the oh. most beautiful walled garden, oh, and lovely. so I took lots of photographs of daisy flowers. So uh. watch this space. Uh. <laughs> They could be the next collection, oh, who knows? I see. That's true. <laughs> oh, love a daisy. So, yeah, it's just all around us, really. Oh, that's lovely. That's great. That's great. Thank you for your emails. If you've we've got yeah, another that's lovely. Thank 10 you. minutes or so, if you would like to get in touch, studio at Hachanda. If you would like to uh, send a message or have a question for Julie, um, please do just let us know, of course. Send that email through, and I'll do my best to read it out and, and pronounce your name correctly. I'll do my best <laughs> as well. We've got about 11 minutes left. I think that's all it is. It's flown, honestly. It has. Flown. Flown by. Okay, so I've
cut my tag out and I stamped a second flower and I've cut that out as well and just put in some foam pads I put some twine through the tag and tied a bow and I've just put some foam pads just to raise it up so I've got my tag I'm going to put it to one side a little bit because of my sentiment and then I have my flower which I just cut the, the actual flower head out oh, yeah. and I'm going to curl the petals up this time so that when I glue the centre down then the, the petals will curl up and show you that there's another layer right. to the flower. Oh that's nice. So a little bit of glue in the middle there and then line my flower up. Well there's definitely, that's it there, found it. Uh, yeah. There's definitely a place where it goes and it doesn't go. And then I cut the leaves out as well, so I like to curl and shape these. Then just if you, I just use my nail just to catch the corner. So I've actually got somewhere to put some glue. Oh, I see. And then yes. I've got yep. something flat. Whoops. I've got something flat that I can put down onto my card. It makes it much easier to attach. Right. Oh, yes. So got just curl it nice a little tip. bit and then just use my nail and then lift this up. So I've now got that nice flat edge. Oh, I see, yeah. So then that's great just to put your glue on there. And then you've got something you've that's actually, actually going to... Yeah, I see. Something that's going to stick down nicely for you. Then we want some foam pads. I trimmed round and remember to leave the blue edge. Didn't cut it down <laughs> too much this time. <laughs> and then some foam pads to add some dimension whoops one more and then take the backing off uh, I think we just had a, an, another email that's come through all right uh, from Janice uh, she does, just wants to say how much she's enjoyed Julie's shows as well she remembers meeting you years ago or oh, be worried now Julie <laughs> Remembers meeting years ago at a show at Harrogate. Oh, right, yes. Uh, she yep. was so helpful, so chatty, and made my day as Aww. well. Loves the things that you bring as well. So oh, thank, thank you very you. much. That's indeed. lovely. That's a lovely message. Isn't it? Thank you, for, uh, Janice. Thank you for getting in touch and sending that through. That's uh, lovely. Uh, yeah, I suppose you do get to meet quite a few people at shows. Definitely. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I did. <laughs> you well, you did. Yeah. Well, one day. <laughs> one let's day. Hope, let's hope those shows will open up again. There was a lot Definitely. of people missing them, weren't there? Okay, so I did it on the big card for the show and the other sample. So it just looks, I, I like a lot of white space on my card no, as well. Lovely, so, yeah. But, but I also did it on the smaller card as well, so which oh. works beautifully as well. But when just putting those glosses on, put it around the sentiment and yeah. it just draws your eye in to, it does. to looking at it, it does then. As well. It really does as well. They're absolutely beautiful. Uh, they are gorgeous and that white space as well. There's, uh, like I say, it does break it up. And also I think some about the colours that you've used, they're bold and they're striking. They're really yeah. rich, aren't they? With and those, and with you those know that the well. colours are going to work with, you, with your ink pads that you've got right. because I have really tried to yeah. match them up so that, you know, they're the most popular ink pads. So... We'll go with those colours. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense, it makes sense. Uh, if you are still uh, thinking about going for the glosses as well, we do have some still in stock just about as well. Uh, so in total, 270 of the dots, but you'll be getting these as well, 150 of the love hearts. Again, so you've got all your monochromes, your blacks, your silvers, your whites, you're going through here, but you've got your lovely contrast there with your rich orange, pinks, reds, you've got yellows, greens, your blues, right the way down to your pinks and your purples, also for your love hearts. Then you've got your dots, and again, all your different sizes you've got your large you've got your medium and your small again across the whole spectrum from white through silver to your charcoals and to your uh, black again then you've got your pastel colors uh, that are also in there as well like mint green soft baby pinks and blues yellows in there also uh, as well as a brighter color or oh, just drop those ones I picked the, no one saw again I get criticized always for, 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 I can't hold anything for two <laughs> minutes it seems and I've just proven that one right again uh, We've got the, the reds, uh, the yellows and the greens. No, by the way, when I held my children, I was all right with that. There was, I <laughs> just wondered just in case them. anyone's watching going, oh, he's had two kids, did you drop everything? Yeah, uh, but not them. Um, purples, pinks, blues, greens uh, and yellows, they're all there for you. Uh, 1494 881017 uh, if you'd like to go for those. But you can see how Julie's using them and they really do just add that little 
little extra something with texture uh, to uh, your cars or your work as well, which are absolutely beautiful. Um, now, again, final call, really, on uh, to let you know about these ones. We've only got uh, about six or seven minutes left with Julie in the studio. Um, so if you want to go for the complete collection, it is limited stock. And this that you're seeing here is the last time you're going to see this in the live show uh, today. So if you're a Freedom member, look at that, £39.10. That includes your postage and packaging. Now, if you are a uh, Freedom member and you want to go for your Flexi option, you can do. That's just two payments of £19.55. And that includes your P&P. Uh, 643-864 gives you 17 stamps. And you've got that beautiful die. I really do like it. I keep getting my eye drawn to that background stamp. There. Oh, and that works across all of those, uh, actually, Julie, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it does. That, that's my most... F I made that card, but that's yeah. my favourite card. And it's actually... Paula, who works here, yes. it's her heart when she was doing dyes. Oh, is it? Yes. Oh, I is... just absolutely love that card. Oh, it, it's, it's gorgeous. I hope that that's inspired and, and, and go for that, which is lovely. Um, we're just going to show you uh, this. It, what's, what's going on here? This is amazing. Isn't this amazing? Philippa made this. And I had several people ask me, will you show it again? Because we showed it this afternoon. Oh, I missed it last time you and showed And she's made, she's used the mandala that she's cut out lots of times to create the background. And then she's gone in with lots of dots of little paint, of, sorry, dots of, of paint, little ones and big ones. And just mix the colours as well. Like, so the paint, it's actually white with an orange scent. I mean, the work that is in that is oh, incredible. that is lovely, isn't it? But how striking does that, that look on the black as really? well? Really? Fantastic. Look at that. So, so, again, I have to thank the design team because I really couldn't do the shows without them. No, you know, uh, we'd have six cards if it was down, you know, <laughs> and they'd all look the same. So <laughs> it's lovely that you're seeing such versatility. And that Freedom Price, you yeah. are actually saving almost the price of a big stamp. That, that, that's true. It's incredible. That is really good value. That is really it good is. value to, to go with that. Um, we, we've still got just a couple of minutes as well. Is there anything, okay. you, anything you want to just give us an extra little treat of that we can have a little look at? Can I show you this that Philippa made then as yeah. well? She's yeah, made yeah, this yeah. lovely tag book that she's used the mandala. She's used, so she's actually taken the daisy off. She's used the back of the tag, so she's masked it. So oh. you've got the mandala at the front, but you've got the tag at the back. Again, she's used lots of little glosses as well on there. So beautiful embellishments. Oh, that's nice. Isn't this beautiful? So much work as well. Again, with the stamping, she's used the wording that comes in with the flower. Well, that's nice. She's taken the flat. Yeah, they're all so different, they aren't, are, they? aren't they? Yeah, they are. It's absolutely stunning. So she's used the daisy tag. She's used the wording from the friendship flower. So again, if you do go for the bundle, everything just works so beautifully together. I mean. That gorgeous mandala. Now, we said, we were talking about this earlier on in the show, Julie, we talked about, you know, just on black on white, black on colour as well. And yeah. actually, there's not many here, apart from that, that picture, that just really stood out there, because it was just the, the mandala in the black. But it really, it, it just even without any other colour around it, you just know yeah. it's one of those, that's the testament to a really it good stamp, is, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, thank you. And it's, we do go, like our stamps are the deepest etch that you can get, the right. best quality polymer yeah. that you can get, so that they give you crisp Lovely. images every time. Yeah, no, it, and, it, and it shows, it really does, across the board with all of these, uh, which is which is absolutely phenomenal. It's, it's lovely. I really hope that you have been inspired um, with everything that you can see here as well. Um, and then, just, just go through a couple more as well to show you some more examples of how we sit. Well, let me just show that. I don't think I've shown that one this evening yet. Um, and to give you a little bit more of an idea how, the, how they can all work. But again, whichever colour palette that people are preferred yep. working with, it doesn't really matter, it does it? I mean, that's white embossed. That's all white embossed. So you've got the background in a coloured ink, a brilliant ink, so it's pearly. And then I white embossed the die cut, the flower, onto the die cut. That is gorgeous. That is absolutely gorgeous, that. I love that. And then that. The, the hearts, this is why I like to give you those other little elements. So like the tag, like the hearts. So you've got those little bits just to fill in some added interest. Yeah, that is, that is lovely, that. Oh, I that's love, nice as a little bunch. Yeah, I love that. Hazel did that. Now, I mean, I designed the die and I hadn't even thought, why put two together? You know, like, that just looks <laughs> fabulous. It really does. And I also love how she's coloured the background stamp, but using different colours. Yeah. So it's not just one colour, no, it actually nice. changes in colours as it goes up and down the card. That's, a, that's a, uh, almost like a happy Easter, that's a springtime yes, piece it, as well, yeah, isn't it, really? Yeah, absolutely. It would be they almost look like 
Yeah, they could be daffodils, they could couldn't, be, they? couldn't they? They, you know? they work really nicely. No, I've not seen that one either yet. This is really clever as well. Hazel made this one and she's created the background with the little friendship stamp that comes in with the flowers. Ah. But she's used the waste from the dye Ooh. to actually put the colour behind the, the petals. Oh, I see. So she's die cut it, but the waste she's used as a stencil, so she's got that purple colour behind the petals. Oh, that is it's great. It's so clever. And the glosses as and well. And the glosses on there. And look at what a perfect match that they are. That's phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Well, look, they're all absolutely beautiful. Uh, I've really enjoyed this hour with you, Judy. Thank, Thank you very you. much. When, when, do you know when you're back in? I don't at the moment, right. no. Keep but you, hopefully keep before the on. end of the year. Well, let's hope so. Yes, oh, it's been a real pleasure. And I know that a lot of people have been really pleased to see you back here again. Thank and look you. forward to your next time and next visit to the studios. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, for Julie, thank you very much indeed on behalf as well. And, and I know we are a limited stock and everything as well, but listen, congratulations you've got it. Please do make sure that you, when you're watching again next time and Julie is on, that you do send in whatever you've made with this wonderful collection. It is absolutely beautiful. Congratulations. Thanks for your coming tonight. Don't go anywhere. There's a lot more on the other side of this. Yes, get ready then, everybody. It's the fantastic Stamps Away One Day special that Yannis will be taking you through, of course. Then we've got the Jelly Bean Craft Happy Hour for you, which is all here for you on your entertainment with the channel. Did you know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wire router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the centre of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Jean, and together with my partner Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. At Crafty Individuals, we're mostly involved in the design and manufacture of a very wide range of red rubber art stamps, but we also have a range of background papers and mini images that are also brilliant to create with. Personally, my background is in art and design and crafting, and most of the designs have been created by myself. We also have a great little team of other artists, friends, who've helped us along the way and have come up with other designs that completely work alongside our own. So do pull up a pew and join us on the Hachanda shows. We can't wait to see you there. Hi, I'm Joe from the Mill Shop Online. Welcome to the Mill Shop Online. As you can see, we're a lot of fabric here. We're very passionate about our fabrics. We're one of the largest online sellers in the UK of fabrics for upholstery, soft furnishings, and now the lovely craft market. Coming up in the future with Hochanda, the Mill Shop Online are gonna bring lots more collections of beautiful fabrics, all inspired for your crafters, for your upholsterers, soft furnishings, everything for every project. All our designs for Hochanda, all our crafting elements, always very unique and very exclusive for Hochanda. Whether you're starting out with fabric or you're an experienced sewer, we love to bring projects that every ability can really have a go at. So don't miss the Meal Shop Online shows on Hochanda.
Hi, I'm Lucy from Sweet Poppy Stencils, the Craft Station Limited. We're a craft retailer and we specialise in stainless steel stencils. Our stencils are manufactured in metal. Uh, this allows us to have designs that are intricate. We also have new products coming on board. Um, our craft bonds, our uh, pole drops and acrylic paints are joining us. We've recently joined Hachanda and we're really excited. This allows us to demonstrate and show our products. Um, we know customers like seeing um, the demonstrations. So make sure you tune in and don't miss the Sweet Poppy shows on Hachanda. Hello everybody, a warm welcome. I hope you're having a lovely evening. We've got another look at our one day special. This is phenomenal. You are getting everything that you're seeing here. Eight projects, two DVDs. That's effectively eight masterclasses with the lovely Ali. And I've got to introduce you uh, to Ali first and foremost. Ali, how are you doing? Hello. It's, it's nice we get to work because not, not long ago, a couple no. of days ago we were working <laughs> together. Yeah. We haven't worked together for ages. And then two days on track. Exactly. Um, what I love about working with you, and we were talking about this the other day, you're so passionate about yeah. giving people projects, yes. getting people crafting, and especially, and we were having a little bit of a chat in between shows, with obviously Christmas just around the corner, these are incredibly giftable. Yes, I mean this was the whole sort of thinking about it because we do like crafting, we like making things, but then you get that, oh, what am I going to do with it kind yeah. of scenario. Uh -huh. Whereas these are all things that make fabulous gifts. So you've got notice boards, you've got gift boxes, you've got, you've got so photo frames. This you've got is on the DVD. What we're yeah. seeing here, that is a project on the DVD. That yeah. is incredible. You just need to rummage through broken jewellery and sort of okay. fabrics and stuff, but yes. Again here, what we're looking at, another project on the DVD. Yeah, so you get to, the, the, the main thing there is the mushrooms. Yeah. Because you can never have two mushrooms <laughs> on a show. See, oh, that's Ali. why there's two of them. Oh, Ali. You, <laughs> so you, get you need to, Janice here with that joke. <laughs> It was, yeah. it was it was crying out <laughs> but you get to do the distressing technique but then yeah. also the bit I like which is the making the little things to go on yeah. but obviously that's a fun bit and you do is, get excited about yes. that but the thing is I've done that on that shelf but the mushrooms also look fabulous on the side of a notice board yeah. you know you could put like a fairy scene on there or on the twisty shelf everything that I've done I've done it on one project, but so easily can be translated into others. The technique that you do on the clipboard, yeah. I've also done on a frame. So it, it's not. You know, on the DVDs, you show the techniques. Yes. We're dipping into our stash. Can I get one thing across? I think this is really important because I was watching the launch show. It says £10 saving. You're not getting a £10 saving. You're actually saving £50. And let me put this into context. If you were to get just uh, splitting the one day special in half, four of the projects with the DVD, that would be £49 uh, and some change. But then if you go for the one day special, you'd be saving £20 here, £20 here, so you're actually saving £40 in total with a further £10 on top of that. So you are getting eight projects in total, you're saving £50. What you're looking at now should be over a hundred pounds worth of product for 49.90 and I want to point something out I was just doing some maths here let's break this down so 49 pounds it's well let's say 50 pounds to make life easy 50 pounds eight projects that works out at just over six pounds per project is that right six pounds 25 pence yeah. per project that price we haven't even talked about the dvd that six pounds 25 effectively you're getting the dvds if you break it down that way and you would easily looking at these i mean i would pay six pounds 25 for that 
as a project, right? That, I think that is a very good price. So effectively, the DVD, the education, is a bonus. You're getting two, I'm describing it as two bonus DVDs, if you do consider each one of these projects £6.25. When you look at, and everything we're showing here, so for instance, that is a project you're going to be able to do on the DVD. So, oh, who's this? That's Tonka. Tonka is getting a belly rub, and we can't leave out who's this. And that's Marvin. Marvin and Tonka. I love, okay. But let's consider dipping into our stash, maybe r getting some rust effect on here. It's just such a lovely little project, and it's a really good way to set off uh, a lovely picture inside. That's one project. Then you can go on from making this to this. Our clipboard. So this clipboard, I've done this as a calendar, but this could easily be a journal as well. Yeah. So you can make all the different pages that go inside, you decorate it up, and so this is done as a perpetual calendar, so you can use it year in, year out. So you're getting the MDF, you're getting the substrate, and then we're dipping into our stash, using our stash to build up that project, but you're getting the instructions and this the inspiration. This is why that's all, all the pages are different sizes, yeah. because I just grabbed some of my leftover pieces of paper. I love that. So, and there's yeah. cardboard in there and all sorts. Down here, that, okay, I've got a question for you. Would you pay £6.25 for that? 100%. We've, we've all got a paintbrush yeah. kicking around that's been <laughs> really left do. to dry a loads. little bit too much. I've got loads. Okay, £6.25 per project, £6.25, just looking here, I know we've added the little uh, bit of, oh no, we haven't acrylic, because that's sand, sorry, £6.25. This one is actually on the DVD, you have the dandelion version yeah. of this, because that's the stencil you actually get in the kit as okay. well. So you get the stencil to do that technique, what you just need to do is grab tester pots, and that's exactly what that's done with, is just four odd okay. left in the cupboard paints. So that's half of the projects that we've seen. If we just scoot over here, I just want you to know all the projects that you're getting on the DVDs. £6.25 to do something the, um, like this. The egg what? is just tin foil with a pom-pom in the middle to start you shaping off. Oh, come on, that's incredible. The bottle can be any bottle that you find lurking around and then everything else is all reclaimed bits and pieces. Six pounds twenty-five. Let me pop that down. Here again, six pounds twenty-five. It's going to be another element that you'll find on the DVD. So uh, each one of these a masterclass. Let me just show you that there. I'm not conscious of fact. Oh, that was how it was. Okay. So six pounds twenty-five here. Six pounds twenty-five. Now what's this? It's your little recipe card box, so you can keep all sorts of bits and pieces in it. What? Ideal for little photos and little cards and things like that. All the little, you know when sometimes oh, you get little yeah, business this. cards and things like that, yeah. you can keep it all together. I, get, I know exactly what you mean, I get a lot of those. Or keys, or little trinket um, box, or jewelry. You jewel. know the cards that you collect so many stickers for and then you get a free coffee? Yeah. Keep that in there, because how many people end up with 17 cards with one sticker on each one? Ah. And good, good uh, idea from Marcus, our director, is saying he often gets given numbers, so uh, little numbers there. Mark, don't, play, don't blame the player, blame the game. Uh, <laughs> and then finally, we have, now this one's nice too. This is our little strong box. Uh huh. So, you know, because you always need, it does look a little bit like an Acme one that would be storing dynamite for yeah. Wiley Coyote. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay. This is how, and so when I was watching the One Day, so I was actually having my dinner and watching the One Day special, I was getting excited by this as a crafter. Let me explain. If we were, and this is how, just purely humbly how I would see it, if you were to just to take the eight projects and someone was telling me you're paying £6.25 per project, I'm happy with that. £6.25 I think is fantastic. Just if you just got purely the projects and some instructions, I would be happy. But what you're getting in this bundle, on top of that, so our £6.25, we've covered the price, everything else is a bonus, you'll be getting the, uh, the little stencil here, that's a bonus, and both DVDs. I mean, how much would you pay for a DVD? How much would you pay to do a, a craft class, a master class, with Ali, effectively a one-on-one -on -one session? That is what you're getting here. The two DVDs you have, you're not paying anything for those. The stencil, you're not paying anything for those. If you just broke it down for each project, £6.25, remember you're actually saving £50. What you're seeing in front of you here should be over £100. You're saving £50, courtesy of the one-day special. 
I think this is phenomenal value for money. I was blown away by this. And as crafters, we are all looking for that next project. It is right here. You've got eight projects to choose from. You know if it's brought to you by Stamps Way and Alley, it's going to be exceptional. Everything made in-house. Uh, we are approaching 30% of the stock. We are busy. Thank you so much for joining us because this is a very special one day special. And I'm so glad I'm getting to present the hour with the lovely Alley. 705-268, your item number. Now, we've got to say, we've got... We got some sad news. Oh dear. The Cavachons, I'm afraid, have sold out in between uh, shows. So uh, we will see what we can do tomorrow. But as it stands, the Cavachons have gone. Uh, and also the glass domes. These are oh, so gone. lovely. They are lovely. I'm afraid they've gone as well. So uh, the glass domes have sold out too. I'm so sorry. But that gives you an indication of how busy we were at launch. So do not miss out. Now we've got one more thing I'm going to share with you. And uh, I'm going to be quick here, and I apologize. I know I took a little while just to talk through the one day special, but I really wanted to get across. I mean, value for money and what you're getting with there, it's exceptional. And I was getting excited watching the show, and I just wanted anyone who's tuning in to get full appreciation of exactly what they were getting. Uh, now, this is great because. We all know that the self-adhesive ephemera is something that Ali and Stamps Away are known for. These are brand, brand new designs at great prices. So this, look, you're saving three pounds on brand new designs and you're getting to pick any three. So effectively, you're getting nine in total because you get three in each. And there are so many beautiful designs to go through. Lovely colors uh, as well. I'm just gonna go through and show you all the different designs that you are getting. So, for instance, if you wanted, by the way, we I'm sure we're going to work with some of these, are we? We will yeah. do, yeah. The Ali really has got a reputation for bringing such beautiful ephemera. So we'll show you them in action shortly this hour, but you're getting the poinsettia there. Then uh, Scott, put it upside down for me, testing me. Uh, then we've got our Christmas sentiments. Ooh, we get a bit steampunky. We've got some cogs in the mix. There's frames. You can find all of these on the website. But what would be your three? Would you go for a mix? Would you go three of the same? That, yeah, that's cool. That is. It's called Dirty Cup, and it is just so handy because it's, it's. I know it's, it's like, oh, I don't want a coffee stain, yeah. but actually it, it finishes things off and it ties things together, and it's yeah. just perfect. Love that. And this one's very nice. This is very delicate and pretty. Yeah, like that. Or, oh. That right, so this is clever. This so is this very clever, yeah. So this is your calendar. Now you can have it as a perpetual calendar and then mm. you just leave off the days of the week. Yeah. But if you want to do it for any year, if you want to be very forward planning and do 2022, you can do it. All you need to know is what day of the week, 1st of January falls on. And then you take the strip of days of the week and yeah. you cut. So if Friday is the first, you cut so that the Friday is at the front, line it up above the one, put the other bit at the end, and then you've got it lined up properly. Genius. Yeah, and then, of course, from that, you can then work out where, where you only need else. to know where the 1st of January falls. Okay, 100% going in my basket. There we go. I've got my first choice. I would actually might get three of those and then do another little pick and mix because I like this as well. The wood effect is phenomenal on the MDF. So this, this is, is really like nice. the new crackle. <laughs> Yeah, because crackle was so popular you know and it's still so popular. Yeah. But this, especially when you use the wood crystals, which we've got on as well, uh -huh. you put that over the top, and instantly you're, yeah. you've got planks of wood, and it's fabulous. And again, yes. you can cut it up into any size that you want. Save all the little bits because you never know when you're going to just need a tiny little bit. It's another one; it has to go in your basket. It really does, and I use that word sparingly, but it really does. Uh, and then you've got your baubles and your Christmas as well. Eleven ninety-seven your price. It is a pick and mix, so you get to pick your favourite three, or you can just go for one of the same and just triple up. Three eight seven five eight three your item number. We're going to now go uh, to Ali and let her do what she does best, and that's obviously give us some inspiration. So, Ali, what are we going to work with? Right. So we're going to make a little Christmas crate. Okay. But we're kind of going to do a mix and match because we're going to do the finish off the rivet effect we started earlier and then we're going to look at the cherry staining from the wool from the stains okay so let's just mix up some cherry stain first mm -hmm. so a tiny bit of water i'm going to put a lot less in than i did last time okay um oh and before i forget from earlier we used the, the excess stain to age up some papers which we might use later. Oh, I just had some copy of paper. Cool. So ink stains on them, the wood stains. And I've now got some nice antique paper. Never know when you need antique paper. Nice. Okay. 
So is I'm just going to put, you sweet. really don't need much. I mean, that is a fraction. Dust, it, it's, it, it's as if you're putting chilli into a dish, just a sparing amount. Yeah. Ooh. I mean, that's ridiculously intense. It is. If you don't like mucky fingers, you uh -huh. may want to wear gloves with okay. this. Okay, well, it's a stain, so... It you is, know, yeah. I mean, it's, it's water-based, so it's not permanent stain, uh. but enough to make your fingers look colourful. Okay. Now, we've got cues on our phone lines, and I'm so, so pleased that we do, because every One Day Special, we try and give you something that obviously goes above and beyond, uh, but there's certain ones, and it's just natural. As crafters, we have our particular favourites. It's a very personal thing. I love working with Ali, genuinely love working with Ali, and what she's offering here, when you consider eight projects, two DVDs, and the stencil, all for uh, a great price. Uh, apologies for our graphics, they're just playing out for a moment. But uh, 49 pounds and 90 pence. Uh, two flexi payments, by the way, something I didn't mention. You get everything today for 25 pounds, I think, is it 25 pounds? Just under 25 pounds. Now let me put this into context. 25 pounds today, you're getting everything. The regular retail price for everything you're seeing in front of you would be over 100 pounds. It is a phenomenal deal. Uh, and you always do that, Ali. Whenever you come in, you bring us something that is a little bit special. Well, I'm a crafter. Yeah. So I know what it's like. You want everything and you want it now. Yeah. Um, so we try and do a variety. But I was also going to say, on the DVDs, yes, you get to do the dragon shelf. But there's also some really dip your foot in projects that mm. are quite look complicated but are quite straightforward so you don't have to dive straight in so and do the dragon way you can work your way up it might not necessarily be in that order on the uh -huh. dvd but because okay. they're just you know the projects yeah. are there but you know you can pick and go right i'll try that one first and then that will build your confidence because a lot of people go i don't think i can do that mm. well i can hand on heart say you can it's yeah. that nothing I do is you don't have to be an amazing artist or anything. You, you can literally do it. And with the DVD, you've got that as a reference. And it, what you love to do, I know every time I work with you, is teach techniques. Yes. So if it was me, I'd watch the DVD, I'd get that skill set in time. And it happens to us all, you kind of think, oh, how did I do something? Yeah. You've got it as a reference, you can go back to it. Exactly. And I also, <laughs> my husband laughs at me because uh -huh. I just constantly talk. Yeah what I do. So when I'm doing it, I'm going, you can do this. Oh, and then by the way, you can do this, this, and so there'll be 17 different things that will be completely unrelated to what I'm doing, but they'll spark ideas. Yeah. And the idea being that you'll turn it off and go, oh, actually, and it's not prescriptive. It's not like you have to do this. Mm. It's like, I found that this works. I found that this works because, so yeah. that you're understanding why things, because it's all very well me standing there going, you must put that on first. But if I don't explain why, yeah. it's like, well, why do I need to put that on first? And it'll cool. be, well, because, you know, this is water-soluble and that will, you know, so there's, there's reasoning behind so that you'll understand. Because yeah. if you understand why things do what they do, you'll get more out of them. Yeah. I've just actually cleaned up, so I grabbed okay. a bit, bit of copy of paper, and what we'll do is we'll let that dry and then we'll put up some baubles on that. Perfect. In a minute. Okay. Like that. So our cherry, I love the warmth of this colour. That, and that's not been primed, you've just gone no, straight just on with straight the stain. On. That yeah, is you incredible. You might find the first time you go over, it will seem to bead on the top. Right. Just let it soak in. It's a beautiful colour. And I've got to tell you, we are busy for our stains. You're getting the pine cherry and your chestnut, twelve ninety nine. And think how long these are going to last you. But onto wood, they are incredible. And I have to say, the pine is... Um, think cheap bed and breakfast bedside table yeah. type it's it's not brand new pine it's got that kind of yellowy warmth to it oh, you like can that. mix the colors together as well but I just I love the pine and especially when you put your wood grain mm -hmm. over the top uh, we are approaching 40% of the stock with regard to our stains so uh, there's something I know you're very excited about bringing on the show yes because yeah. I've um, I've been using traditional walnut ink crystals for a while, but um, obviously that only gives you one shade. Yeah. Uh -huh. This gives you, and you can paint them on with a paintbrush, so you could actually do it almost like faux marquetry effect. Yeah. Um, if you've got a steady hand, which isn't me. <laughs> so I'm just painting this with black gesso. Okay. So this is, for those that didn't see the six o'clock show, what I did was I went along and did even blobs of glue and then between the shows I've let it dry so I now have hard bubbles. So it kind of look like the rivets. Exactly. And just from glue. Yeah. You're I very imaginative how you use your stash, Alan. 
the thing is, if I've got one thing, I like it to do more than just what it's supposed to. Mm. Because, as I say, we don't have endless A space, B pockets of money, mm. so everything has to earn its keep. I like that. And do you know, Ali, it's fi funny because we're talking to the team, and as crafters, and you guys at home will relate to this, we buy a lot of things and you have a lot of things in your stash and it's incredible how quickly your stash does build. So with your projects, I think this is a really nice opportunity to dip into our stash, use our papers, use our stencils, use our inks, use the stains. I mean, everything you have in your stash you can use. Exactly. And say, for example, the project of the notice board with the old paintbrush. Yeah. Obviously, I've used a paintbrush as the central f feature, but you'll be shown the technique on how to build up that kind of thing and it's one of those where color yeah. doesn't matter yeah so if you've got that's nice especially when you're all starting out you yeah. you you know you buy the big bumper packs of embellishments because you know you think you need them and you end up with sky blue pink with purple uh -huh. dot flowers that you're never going to use yeah. well you use them on a project like that because you're introducing color yeah. to them and you have techniques to go over the top so that could be anything that, that you quite like. It could be a fancy stick or anything that you want in the middle there. Well, I had a paintbrush because that represents me. Yeah, I like that. I've got to tell you that with regards to the one day special, we are really busy. 40% of the stock. Let me put that into context. 40% of the stock that's meant to last 24 hours. You are getting eight individual projects. You're seeing them all here. But not only that, you get two DVDs to help you, guide you, get the most out of the projects. And I'm just, we have got the projects here. I'll just show you a couple because I don't want to detract from uh, Ali's demonstration. But look, that is one of the projects. Now I'll that, just show you. That one is actually what I would consider a starter project okay. because it's really simple but ever so effective. Oh, look. I mean, obviously set off by the wonderful model inside it. <laughs> um, but, you know, and that could be anything, any photo. Could be a natural photo. I've been taking a lot Family of... Family photo, or yeah. just if you don't want to put a photo in there, think pattern papers, sentiment if you want to. Yeah, um, die cut a heart out of yeah. a brightly patterned paper, put it onto Done. a white background inside a black frame. Really sort of yeah. trendy. That's one project. This is another project. So this gives you an idea of what you're going to be getting in your DVD. But don't, I mean, looking at this, you're like, oh, I, I could never do this. You absolutely can. And when you look inside, okay, we can just get an old bottle, put it inside there. That dragon egg is actually... Well, even the bottle is a technique there because um, it's oil and water. It's oh. not, does it show up so well? Because I actually put black, mi uh, black mica in the bottom and I shouldn't have done. Yeah. Uh, uh, but again, I explain why. It, but basically, it's... Sorry, dragon eggs dropped. <laughs> but it's a dragon egg, it will last. Oh, okay, I'm going to pop that down. I was, so, yeah, I was so tempting that's fate. <laughs> it's oil and water. <laughs> yeah. So it's a basic science experiment, but it it's works. great fun. The DVDs are incredible. You're getting two of those. Look, wh when you buy a DVD, think you could pay, I, I'm just talking in general here, you could pay, what, 12 to 15 pounds just for a DVD. Yeah. So when you consider you're getting both DVDs, you're getting eight projects, you're getting the stencil, it's a, for me, it's a no-brainer. But I said, I've tried very hard to, although the DVD is showing you how to decorate that particular project, yeah. everything I do can be translated from this project. Could even be translated to you've been to the charity shop or somebody's skip and found an old bedside table. Yeah. You know, there's things on there that you can take across. The very simple wood graining effect I do. Mm -hmm. So easy, and you could do that on a massive piece of furniture if you wanted to, or yeah. on a miniature doll's hat. You know, I've tried to do it so that y it should spark your imagination and encourage you to do lots of different things, and not, and also, don't always listen to me. Huh. Be, don't, if I've sparked an idea, give it a go. Don't yeah. go, oh, she said I could only do this. Go, well, actually, because every day should have, a, I wonder what will happen if, in terms of crafting, what will happen if I mix that with that. And I love your outlook. Genuinely love your outlook. It's no rules, just have some fun. This is why when I do, when I do the workshops in a box, they're really yeah. hard, because if you do a workshop with me in my factory, yeah. inevitably I'll go, hang on a minute, and I'll scurry off and come back with something which I hadn't planned to use. Roughly for workshops, if I was to do a workshop with you, the yeah. say works in the box. How much would it be, roughly? If it was just a normal mini project, one mm. for all day, twenty-five pound. Okay, and that's actually very good. <laughs> yeah. No, seriously, that's for you're <laughs> under cheap. Ali, you're undercharging. <laughs> Sorry, but possibly. I've, I've been to others that are a lot more expensive. Okay, so 
just think about that in mind. If you would go to Ali and do an all-day workshop, you're looking at £25. You've got eight workshops here. Yeah, eight individual workshops. Because maybe, I mean, if we were doing a, a normal workshop, a simple palette art might be one project, but if you were doing something like the shelf, the dragon shelf, that is obviously an all-day project. Yeah. And the other thing is, these are things... I know we seem to be having more time at home at the moment, but it's not always the case. Mm. Or you might only have half an hour here or half an hour there. All of these are you can pick up and do. Or there's bits where you need to leave it to dry. Yeah. So, you know, there, you there's... Work on another bit. Yeah. I quite often have multiple things. Um, just top tip, if your, well, your wood stain's taking a long time to dry, but you've just cooked a Sunday roast and your oven's still warm, mm. they dry off lovely in the oven. <laughs> I'll say it did. You're proper crafter. You're a crafter. Yeah, don't craft in the kitchen. It's so not good. How are we getting on? Just to right, so explain where we're All I've at. done is I've just did some mica on while the black gesso was wet. So now we've got that metal effect. Now, mm -hmm. I could come on and use my wood grain, right? which looks fabulous. But I actually wanted to keep it very simple. And I was just going to do this as the side of a Christmas hamper. So I'm going to take my Christmas okay. greeting position that in the middle if it's slightly damp still mm -hmm. it will move about but once the moisture is dry yeah. it will stick down completely and then we've got our little merry christmas nice. and then on the dvd i go through how to that looks rope, so good rope bind your handles so that yeah. it looks like a proper strong box well and that's what we're seeing uh we're seeing here lovely right so do you remember i mopped up that piece of paper yeah should we do a quick christmas card yeah okay Okay. This so is I on, just, you hadn't planned this? No, this was a, while there was um, some stain, because there's the planks, the, the stain sort of dribbled through, mm. so I thought, let's not waste that. Lovely. Okay. Let's, let's do a very arty, um, tall, thin card, I think mm. we'll do. Okay. Because I think that'll look quite good. What have I got in terms of... Oh, uh, oh now I had an email from Steve-O saying he's loving the new idea. Yes, thank you, Steve-O. I know Steve-O's a big fan of yours. He is, bless him. He's yeah. been to some workshops. Yeah. <laughs> right. Good. I've, seen, I've actually seen Steve-O uh, live events at the NEC, and he's always the first when he turns up to put himself onto a workshop. Yeah, he, um, and he also embraces going out, um, out of his comfort zone mm. and also not being afraid to go off script. Yeah. I'm, I'm a big one of it's all right to change your mind as you're halfway through a project or a demonstration. Yeah. <laughs> Which is why producers really love me. <laughs> I always admire someone who isn't af afraid to go out of their comfort zone and also to do something that is a little bit different. Okay, so I'm just... Yeah. So this is really... This is... This is what I call proper crafting. I had this ink left on my mat. I decided it was too good to waste, so I've mopped it up. Now I've got a background paper, and I'll just trim that off. Okay, so that's quite a nice, okay. so let's... I've got to tell you, you've been using the wood stain. Details are on your screen. A lot of you are putting this into your basket, and when I just saw Ali working the wood stain onto the wood, not even priming it, the colour was incredible. Over half the stock, scratch that. And the time it took me to tell you, we're now at 60% of the stock for our wood stain. Very busy, 12 99 your price. Right, now, obviously, oh, wow. our ephemera yeah. is see-through. Uh -huh. So if I wanted to, if I was to just stick that one straight down, we would see the line through the other one. So yeah. all I've done is I've cut it and then I can stick it oh, that's above clever. there. And now he's hanging behind. Genius. Okay, and so we're just going to finish it off mm -hmm. with a quick greeting. And we'll have the greeting going across both papers because we can. There we go. One very simple Christmas card. Um, I'll just make another 20 of them and I'm sorted. Incredible. <laughs> and that's the thing. We want you to get excited about your crafting. Uh, and here at Hochanda, we do place a lot of value on, obviously, the demonstrations. Now, if you do want to go for the ephemera, it is a pick and mix. You're picking any three, or you can just pick three times uh, one option if you prefer. Let's have a look at our options. What are we going to go for? Well, I tell you what, we have Ben, floor manager Ben, working today, and he's a very popular member of the Hochanda team. So let's let him pick one. What would you like, Ben? 
Oh, coffee stains for Ben. All right. We've got the very talented Kim, our producer. She's been tipped for big things here at Ho Chanda. What would you like? Splat. She loves a splat and a dribble. And then we have got Marcus. He's the resident heartthrob at Ho Chanda. Marcus, what would you like to go for? Oh, he said he's going to go for the frames because he wants to put his portrait in one. There we go. Uh, so that's the team picking, but you get to pick. I mean, 11, it's 11.97, is it? And uh, you are saving three pounds, but there are so many other deals on there. And look at the heart five-star reviews as well. This is for the ephemera. This is the classic ephemera so the, uh, options that we brought to you in the past. So do have a look, but look, five-star reviews says a lot. And I have to say, if I had to give Stamps Away and Ali a star rating, I wouldn't give you five stars, Ali, I'm sorry. I'd give you six. Thank you very much. <laughs> be really awkward if I went two stars. <laughs> two. Yeah, okay. I'll never do that. Uh, look, I can tell you that there are um, there are options with regards to the one day special. I'm all about the one day special. You're saving fifty pounds. I know it says uh, we brought different details up the, uh, with the one day special. I know it said ten pounds, but you're actually saving fifty. If oh, okay, thank you. Um, so with the one day special. You are saving fifty pounds. You are not saving ten pounds. If you were to go for uh, one of the options, and I know Kim was just going to show you the details there. So, say you wanted to get a set of four with the DVD, you're saving twenty pounds, and it's twenty nine ninety nine. So, what you would be paying is forty nine pounds for that. That'd be regular retail price. With the one day special. You're saving the £20 here, you're saving the £20 here, and then on top of that, a further £10, so £50 in total. But I think, as projects, this is how I like to look at it. And if you're watching now, I know so many viewers, you guys, you're crafters. And I include myself in that mix, I am a crafter. So I get excited, and I think some, for me, and Ali, I don't know if you'll agree, but as a crafter, sometimes the hard thing is looking for that next project. Yeah, yeah. So you're kind of constantly, here you have eight projects and each one of these so giftable or display them in your home so having a look all four these are the projects that you will see on the dvd these are the completed projects this this stunning oh we we'll stop there that's a trinket box that you can see there but equally we can put recipes we can put cards that in itself is phenomenal okay i love that then we've got this lovely box here which we use the wood stain so isn't that you, nice if you think about those projects that the crate is the sort of the beginner. It's very, it's very simple. Looks yeah. effective, but quite simple to get you started. Yeah, like then that. You possibly move on to the the brown shelf okay, because which is again, oh. it's not overly complicated, but there's so lots cool. of little bits that you can dip into and do and build up. Put some ATCs on there if you yeah. wanted. You can go whimsical. You can put any design. Well, you can just fill it with bits Ooh. you found. You know, all Age sorts put, of different. I put button on the side of those that would affect ephemera. Yeah. Yeah, so look, you've got that. That's a project that you see Ali working on the DVD. Look at this. Look at this. But then that's what you build oh. up to. You might, not, you might not want to tackle that straight away. I mean, that is incredible. Another project on, a DVD, on the DVD. So four projects there. All four of the projects that you've just seen, you're getting the one day special, but you're getting so much more too. Uh, over here, there's another four projects. And remember, you are getting the DVD in the mix. I'll get into that in one moment. So here we're getting, I'll just lift up all four of the projects. This in itself, if you don't want to put a picture, I have to say Tonka is incredible and everyone needs a cuddle from Tonka. And one day, when social distancing <laughs> has ended, I would love to meet Tonka and give him a big cuddle. All right, look at he's, that face. He's 40 kilos, so it's quite a cuddle. I, do, I would uh, give him the biggest cuddle. Look at that face. I love him. Uh, so, but this, you could just put a sentiment in there. You could put papers. But it's just a beautiful piece. All right, so that I would absolutely do. You can even have that as it could be someone's, it could be Ben's craft room if you wanted. All right, well, you, you could be open and closed because you've got the two sides yeah. to it. What about Santa stop here? Yes. Oh. And you've got the little shelf there, Santa so you could here. leave little, could be for the tooth fairy, and you yeah. could have the little ledge to leave the, the gift for the That's tooth fairy. cute. All right, I'll pop Are that down. <laughs> Over here, another project. Let me just show you that. See, so the clipboard. And that's another one. It's a good starter project. And actually, I think what Ali's done is used the ephemera, that new design ephemera would affect, and how effective That's over is the that? pine colour. So you Ooh. can see what I mean about the pine. It's that lovely, warm... Well, the difference, if I show you, that's the back. 
And, then, and that's why I don't paint the back, so yeah, that we can show that. Show, that's, inc <laughs> that's incredible. Okay, so that's another project on the DVD. And then these are the two other projects that you're getting on the DVD there as well. So eight projects in total. That's so a really again, cool on that one. DVD, you might start with the palette art, which is nice mm -hmm. and simple, although you do get to know how to make um, homemade crackle paste, yeah. which is good. Wait, what? Homemade crackle paste. So we will learn how to make homemade crackle yeah. paste. And that's the kind of thing you get with Ali. I love, I love I'll the also tell you the story of how it came about. <laughs> because these, it was a pure accident. These are going to be collector's pieces. If you're a fan of Stamps Away, or this could be your first time to maybe buy something from Stamps Away, you picked a great moment to dip into the wonderful world that is Ali. That's the final one, just to show you the final effect. Uh, there'll be a different design on the front because we've got the dandelion um, stencil in the mix. Can I, just before we get back to Ali, can I just say one thing to you? Eight projects. If you just consider the projects individually, it would work out £6.25 per project. That's the full price that we're saying. And we would happily, if I was to tell you, I'd give you just some instructions and that as a project, £6.25, I think we'll all agree as crafters we'd be happy to pay that. But on top of that, so we've covered it. Everything else I'm about to tell you now is, is a bonus. At £6.25, we've covered the price of the one-day special. Remember, you're actually saving £50, not £10. Uh, then you're getting the two DVDs and you're getting the stencil all on top as a bonus. £50 saving. Each project works out £6.25. And then if you see it that way, the DVDs, the stencil, they are a bonus. It is a great one-day special, and it is a busy one-day special. 705-268, your item number. Now, if you do want uh, some more DVDs with Ali, we've got you covered. So, have a look. This is your Surface collection. Uh, you're getting DVD 1 and 2. This, actually, this is pretty cool. So, 14 98 your price. Saving £5. 608-715, your item number. And I'm just going to tell you, we've just got one more thing to share. Now, this is a nice little bundle, Ali. Oh, yes. Yes. And <laughs> it works really well with the one-day special. That's one of my kind of, I want to get people hooked kits. Okay. <laughs> so it's got a little bit of all sorts in it. It's really to highlight the matte acrylic medium, which wow. is basically... Um, like a glue that you dip your fabric in and it will harden and you can shape and manipulate. It's what I've used on the one of the shelves to get the drapey effect. You've also got obviously the fossils which are beautiful. Then you've got some different materials that you can mm -hmm. dip the matte acrylic medium so in. Wait, everything here we're getting? Yeah. These aren't examples, we're getting everything no, you're here? you're getting everything. For 12 96 Yeah. So, so you're getting some beads and some bits because I like to do texture. Um, that is fabulous just because you dip the glue Textures. in and then you manipulate it you've got a little bit of molding mesh to try and then you've got the wiggle mesh which I was using earlier on the side of um Ooh. Ali this is a great buy yeah it's oh, just it's sorry, just guys. to get you hooked on the uh, mixed media <laughs> That's, I'm, I'm being clumsy tonight um that is such a good buy when you consider that you are getting all of this so all the different mediums and of course what's in here Ali so that is black gesso because okay. whenever you're doing anything like this and creating lots of texture, you need something to take it all back to have the same feel. So mm. I tend to go black because any, any colour you put on it after that really pops. So, so whatever surface you're using, whether it be wood, um, uh, the, the fabrics, all of those, when you put the black gesso over them, they'll all take the colour the same way and it's like a... We'll do a little bit on the... On the um, Twisty shelf. That is In a fact, great... should I do that next? Well, yeah, please. I'm just saying, all of this for twelve ninety six. Love these, these fossils. They're really nice of shelves. Uh, and mites, are they called? Ammonites. I think I got given one of these from Natural History Museum when I was younger. Not an official one, you know, one from the uh, store. Can you imagine? Uh, 635, 428, your item number there. Uh, all right, we're going to head back to Ali now uh, to continue our demonstration. Now, apologies, because I was talking while Ali, all she was doing was just using the stains and uh, she was just painting it onto uh, our next project, well, which I've, is... I've just, because we said about that, I thought I'll, I'll, get, I'll carry on with what we were doing earlier with that. Okay, we, great. So we, we're, I've sort of changed my mind a little bit because I'm allowed yeah. to do that. You are, of course. I was just looking for a fossil. I had a fossil. Yeah. There's a fossil. Well, I'll there let you get. Oh, you got it. Okay. <laughs> I'm efficient. Cool. <laughs> right. So we started this earlier. All I did was I glued some of this wiggle wiggle mesh on, and look at the texture there straight away. So we're going to add a little um, fossil, 
and I don't know what else I've got in terms of texture. I must have things lurking in the bottom of my... I did joke today that my basket is just an array of things that oh, you yeah. never know that you're going to need. Tell you what, Ali, I know we've got a finished sample video. Would you like us to just give you some time just to get everything ready and we can show it? The video is only a few seconds. Should yeah, we, show we that? can do that because then I can have a rummage and see what okay. else I've got in the magic basket. Would you, and you need to see it because the finished examples are great. So this is featuring, finished sample, featuring our, our one day special. Take a look at this, we'll back in a second. Now we're going to get onto our demonstration with Ali. Any questions, please feel free to email studio at hochanda.com. Okay, so in the matte acrylic medium inspiration pack, that's a bit of a mouthful, mm -hmm. you get um, some beads, you get uh, this wiggly mesh, which is fabulous, you get a fossil, a couple of fossils, you get all sorts of different things that create texture. Mm. So you get some twine, which is really good for this sort of thing. So all sorts of different things. But obviously, when you're working with all these different materials, yeah. everything has a different finish. So if I was to brush the the stain onto the fossil, it takes lovely. Ooh, yeah, it does. does take really nice, by yeah, the way. It really does. But if I do it onto the flowers, yeah, okay. MDF, okay. The mat, uh, the the wiggly mesh, it doesn't take to. Also, the colour on there is different to the colour on there, to, so it's not creating that yeah. uniformity. Okay. So if you use black gesso, right. which I just had my black gesso, what? Just to behind the bottle. Oh yeah, okay. see, in plain mm -hmm. sight. Okay. You get a little pot of black gesso, which will still go a long way. So, you black Can gesso over everything. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So black gesso over literally everything. You will of course wait for everything to have dried in place. Right. Um, which is one of the, again, it's one of those things that you set it all off, possibly leave it overnight to fully dry. Depends how heavy handed you are as a crafter. If you're very heavy handed, I suggest leaving things to dry overnight because then the glue will be completely dry. If you're yeah. quite a delicate crafter. Such as yourself. Yes, such as myself. Um, glue that back in place later. Um, <laughs> which you can always glue it back in. Of course you can, yeah. Sometimes, if I'm doing a really intricate shape, and I'm thinking I'm not going to be able to get into all those little gaps. Yeah. I'll actually black gesso it before I glue it on. Oh, okay. The other thing to do, if you're doing something that's really dimensional, no. take a teaspoon of black gesso and about a tablespoon of warm water yeah. into a spray bottle and then just spritz it and it will get into all the gaps. Well, that's actually a really good tip. It's really a really tip. handy yeah. tip. Unfortunately, it's one of those tips that I found out about three years too late. <laughs> so after many years of sitting Struggling. there with a paintbrush going mm. into all the little gaps, um, and when I shared it with a workshop, it was, it was a bit of a eureka Revelation, moment. Yeah. Um, so you just go all over, and then this is the point, once everything's covered in black, Mm -hmm. See how it's now, I'm just going to get into those flowers because otherwise it's not going to illustrate my point. Everything has become one now. It's no longer a flower stuck on with a fossil with a, everything works as one. Yeah. So then what colour or what medium you put on top to highlight that texture is entirely up to you. If you've got gilding waxes, you can 
use your gilding waxes. If you've got mica powders, you can dust your mica powders on. Mm -hmm. If you've got sprays, use your sprays. You just want something to then start adding a little bit mm. of texture. Now, I'm going to use mica powder, and for this, I'm not going to let the gesso dry. I'm going to work it in while the gesso is wet, mm, because okay. mica powder needs moisture. Right. But if it has started to dry, you dust the mica on like this and then spritz it with water. Yeah. I don't think I've got a water spritzer here because that would be really cool. Uh, I don't think we've got one to hand. Sorry. I'll ha I will have a look in my basket in a minute because okay. I'm just going to bring some... No, that's an ink. Don't use an ink stain. It won't sparkle. But yeah. oh, that's something I keep forgetting to say. Your ink stains will come with um, a nice label on that explains what to do with them. Okay. With your wood stains. Um, I didn't put them on the ones on the counter because it seals the lid and I wanted you to be able to open them. Whereas oh, if okay. you put a seal on it, nobody likes to open it. Yeah, that's true. Right, I'm going to quickly see if I've got... If not, I'll just use my bottle Now, with regard to the wood stains, we are 60% of the stock gone, and they are very, very busy. So if you want to get hold of uh, all three of those, we're just going to bring the details. Apologies, our system's being cheeky. So I happen to find... Oh, well done. As I say, it's amazing what's in my basket. <laughs> So I'm just spritzing that, and you can see now it's starting to highlight all that lovely texture. That's looking good. And that's how you build up your texture and that's your looking interest. That's really good. But you see, it's nothing, it's not, there's no skill to it in terms of it's just about Plain. knowing what levels to do. The important thing is taking everything back to that one. Now, if you're not a fan of black, mm -hmm. go with white gesso. Yeah. But what you'll find with white gesso is it's actually harder to build up the colour uh, to get okay. the interest. You really have to layer a lot of colour on. Whereas right. if you've got black, you put a bit of gold on and straight away, that's really wow. Yeah. So that's my Lots. top tip is actually, even if you're not a fan of black, mm -hmm. give it a go. Ali, I'm just thinking, the wood stains are really busy. Yep. Just for uh, the benefit of anyone might tuned in, earlier on when you were just painting onto the wood, it was incredible just how effective and the coverage you got. Could you just paint a little onto some wood? I mean, I'm not looking for, looking for a technique. Perfect. We could just maybe paint that side. Okay, so this is one Look I mixed up this. earlier. This is great. So this is the chestnut. Now you'll find this first time you go across the MDF, you'll think, yeah. oh, that's not soaking in. Because the MDF has like a paper coating to it. Yeah. So you just work it across. When you get to the ends where the MDF's cut, just sort of almost stipple it and let it soak in. Yeah. Look at that, though. Now, when it dries, uh -huh. it has a matte finish to it. Okay? Well, now, you can... Got one there, just tried, yeah. You can um, yeah. pop a little bit of varnish across it, water down some PVA glue and work that across it, uh, just to give it that shine, shine if you yeah. want it, or a bit of furniture polish. Perfect. Just, you know, just to, yeah. if you want to have that shine. I quite like the matte finish. Yeah, agreed. But that's a beautiful, rich colour. And that's the chestnut. With the, you're getting the chestnut, you're also getting the cherry and the pine as well. Yeah, the cherry we saw earlier, which was the lovely red Christmassy one. And the uh -huh. pine's the only one I haven't done. Okay. So let me see. I've painted all of those. I haven't painted that bit. Have I got a spare pot? Should have. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Now, while Ali's just getting set there, we have got the two DVDs, the printable DVD. So, as the name suggests on these, we can print off elements? Yes. Basically, uh. the Surfaces um, DVDs are... I've gone around with my camera and I've photographed everything from rusty sides of tractors to That's peeling cool. paint on houses. Um, there's a houses in St. John's in Canada called the Jelly Bean Houses and they're all beautiful wood clad. And if you looked at those, some of the paint that was peeling was fabulous. So I just took a photo. Wow. Fabulous tree trunk with all the lichen. But exactly that. Doesn't that look dimensional? That's amazing. But it's just, I've just taken an old notebook, covered it up. And that's your endless stash. So you're getting two DVDs, absolutely chock-a-block full of surfaces. You just print off. So you, as long as you've got a printer and some paper, and the paper's up to you, you can print onto photographic, you can print off to uh, copy paper, you can print onto, well, anything that you can put super smooth, whatever you like. Yeah, and uh, on the same note, you can print onto your printable fabric, so you can make a bag out of something uh. so it looks like rust. 
yeah. um, you know, anything that you want, and just and you can print them off a yeah. hundred times if you want. So if you want to cover a chair or anything, no. but it's all photographic, so it looks. And so if it's you're not the endless stash as well. Yeah. So if you're not into making rusty effects, yeah. print out Done. a bit of rust. Just got to tell you one last thing to share, uh, and a few of you have found it. It's a molding mesh. So if you do want to put the molding mesh and the glue into your basket, nine ninety nine is your price. You get that beautiful molding mesh. Eight one four seven six six. Your item number. Okay. So now we're looking at the. We're doing the pine. The pine. Sorry. So we did cherry earlier. Yeah. So and my brush has got. Um, chestnut on so and I can't go from pine from chestnut to pine I can right. go the other way because it's, it's a dark color yeah. but you'll see what I mean about oh yeah so it's that proper Very old light. pine look you know where it's been in the sun a little bit yeah there is a little bit of black gesso on here as well so right. apologies okay. but that will give me an idea to show you a little technique as well uh -huh. okay so mm. just work that in so this time I'm putting it on with a sponge Nice. Now you can either, yeah. if I just flick that over, because this side should be dry-ish. Okay, and that's your, um, which remind me again that one? So that's chestnut. chestnut. Yes, thanks. So somewhere mm -hmm. in my pile, there it is. So we're using the brand new ephemera, these are new designs, uh, and the feathers has been the most popular one so far, so brand, brand new designs with the adhesive ephemera, and it's something that you're so well known for now. And when I mention Stamps Away to crafters, invariably a lot of the times they will, they will discuss the ephemera with me. So I'm just going to place that yeah. down. Nice. I'm not going to do the whole... So I've not measured that very okay. well. Sorry. Do you get that a lot though, Ali? When you talk to customers, they, they tend to chat to you about the ephemera? Well, because it's fairly new, yes. Uh, but um trouble is we've not really been out and about much. That's the, uh -huh, the trouble. Okay. It, it's harder. Um, but certainly on Facebook and things, they're yeah. loving the different crackle. Oh, the crackles are always, crackle is always popular. We love a bit of crackle as crafters. But you see, look, so now that's mm -hmm. no longer a piece of MDF, that's a plank of wood. Yeah. And you can cut these up, piece them together. Say, so I would actually sort of almost draw around it more carefully, but the fact that you can piece it together. But you can see, look how effective that looks. Yeah. Okay, so that's one way of getting your wood grain. Right. Please excuse the very, very mucky fingerprints on that. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to show you another way of adding another layer of interest. Okay, we've got four minutes. Just oh, that. loads of time. Let's put a lid on something before I knock it flying, though. Okay. And this is something that's covered in the DVD as well. Okay. So. I'm using black gesso, but this could be any dark colour. Well, I say dark coloured. It doesn't have to be dark coloured. Any contrasting colour, mm -hmm. I think, is a fair comment. Yeah. I like black because it just, especially on air, it shows up nicely. Mm. So, onto the scoury side of our scourer. Dab off as much as you can. And then holding it at the top at a slight angle... You just go around and this is so that you're getting that worn effect around the edge because if you look at old furniture the way it's like cracked yeah yeah and then once you've got quite a lot off you can then come down and do more of a grain just try and keep it as straight as you can yeah. and when it even on a corner there don't be tempted to go around try and keep it straight because that's where your grain would be nice and this is go. the kind of thing that you'll get on the DVD. That's awesome, Ali. Thank so you so much. So that's how you do the, the wooden shelf is yeah. done that way. Which is on the DVD with the one-day special. I've got to talk to you about the one-day special. We have been incredibly busy this hour. Ignore the £10 saving. You are not saving £10. You are actually saving £40 from the two individual options, and that £10 is an additional saving. So, in effect, you are saving £50. The £40 saving has already been factored into the price. You are getting eight individual projects with Ali taking you through 
every step of the way, allowing you to dip into your own stash. You've got two DVDs, chock-a-block full of techniques. And this is what I love about working with Ali, because she will just suddenly, in a technique, deviate and start giving you another technique, telling you about the backstory. She's got so much personality, and you know how much Ali loves her crafting and sharing those techniques. This is a phenomenal one-day special. If you look at the actual projects that you are going to be making. So we've got the sign, which you're seeing here. That is on the DVD. That's one of the projects with Tonka. I mean, you put whatever you like in there. You've also got the chi uh, the um, pin board there as well. I've just I've just seen. Sorry, what did you want to did you want to show? I was that? just I was just going to say I've made a typical crafter's mistake. I've got um, splats on okay. Tonka's picture. Well, it looks like now, he's been in the mud. Exactly. Well, he's been in the mud. But today. we can embrace that. Okay. We find our splat sheet, which is in here somewhere. Mm -hmm. And we now take that mistake and make it a feature. And let's have, let's have, so it's now a properly distressed image. This was how we planned it. I didn't really spill my ink crystals on it. So Tonka's just gone for a muddy walk and is loving every second. So now it's part of the element and we can ah. then add a greeting. Let's have a word. Right, and as he's a dog in mud, 45 seconds. Sorry. we can get have fun done in the corner love it oh ali i've had so much fun this hour thank you, thank you. genuinely thank you ali will be returning live at uh, eight tomorrow morning i do hope you can tune in so she'll, she'll be live at eight twelve and four as part of our one day special uh, fifty percent of the one day special has gone it is such a good one day special eight individual options you're getting two dvds absolutely chock-a-block full of elements uh, and techniques and they obviously allow you the uh, skill set to go on and make all of the projects in front of you and you're getting the stencil in there as well you're not saving ten pounds you're saving 50 so those are the takeaway points thank you so much for your company so I've got a happy hour coming up next jelly bean crafts is gonna be a great happy hour after that uh, we'll have a repeat of our fantastic stamps away one day special and then be your creative best with cricket lots to enjoy here at Hochanda did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day seven days a week for free using our app on Roku just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the added channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase, and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hello, I'm Hayley, and you might have seen me presenting here at Hochanda. Well, I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favourite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. I'll be covering lots of areas of soft crafts like quilting, dressmaking, sewing, knitting, even printing your own fabrics. I'll even be bringing some items from my own Handmade by Hayley range. So I hope you'll join me, let me inspire you, and maybe you will discover a new craft in the process. Oh, 
Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. We have a wonderful in-house designer called Sue who hand draws all the images which we then transfer into rubber stamps. We have very, very elaborate designs. We have everything from steampunk right through to beautiful florals and then we have scenic and we have words. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched, and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Whether it's stamping, mixed media, or art journaling, join us at Hajanda for our journey into everything creative and messy, and see what you can create with our stamps. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years, Studio Light have evolved. They listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Achanda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Achanda. Well, hello everybody. So it is a happy hour here at Hochanda, which means for one hour and one hour only, we have got some great prices. And it gets even better because it's a whole hour, uh, hour rather, filled with jelly, green, uh, jelly bean crafts goodies. Not a great start, is it, Ben? <laughs> it's not my best start. Uh, but look, whole hour. Can we sort that out in the edit? Fantastic. Uh, jelly bean crafts. Amazing cardstock, and obviously Jelly Bean specializes in cardstock here. And this is the kind of prices that you can expect throughout the hour. 11 pounds saving. Uh, I've got to tell you that I am not alone, so very shortly, not just yet, but I'm going to be introducing you to my co-host, uh, somebody who I've grown very attached to, uh, occasionally comes and stays with me. He's a very, very good co-host. It is the one, the only, Clocky. What's it? Clocky. Clocky? Somewhere clocky. Clocky, I gave you a big build up and that's, that's how you reward me. Uh, oh, clocky's turned on the sound. <laughs> clocky, you're very, very bad there. I don't even know if clocky could be over here. It's going to be over here. Uh, 14 40 is your price. Clocky has abandoned me, but it's okay. We'll get clocky on the screen and that's just look, it's a clock to represent how long you've got to uh, take advantage of all the savings. 1440 is your price for our first offering. Let's take a look at this beautiful rainbow card. Ooh, hoo, hoo. it looks great. I mean, just visually striking because there are occasions when, I mean, we could use all. I'm inclined actually to, especially have dyes for paper piecing, for flowers, uh, or if you want to get that full ombre or a rainbow effect. How beautiful is this cardstock? But as it's cardstock, and we say 235 GSM, there's only one way we can get a true account of how good it is. It is a test. It's a two-step process. Ben, what are the steps? The... Flick or wobble? The flick and the wobble. There we go. Let's give it a little flick. That's a, that's a cheeky little wobble. That wasn't the proper wobble. That was just a cheeky one, just a loosener. That's the stuff then, eh? Yes, and beautiful colour. And the wobble. There we go. Uh, so, it is good, look, genuinely great stuff. If you do want to stock up on your stash, if you want to inject some vibrancy, some colours into the mix, you're saving 11 pounds, but only for this hour and this hour only. 14.40 is your price, 904.455, your item number there. And look at, look at all of this. This is what could be winging its way 
to you. That is a wadge in there. Beautiful rainbow colors. Okay, we have to move on. 904-455, your item number. Now, you can shop ahead. Because remember, everything's around for this hour. Or there is a caveat, while stocks last. I know. Uh, will we have sellouts this hour? Odds are, maybe. So uh, you've got five-star reviews. That's on the rainbow card we were just having a look at. And those are honest reviews from viewers at home. You would be paying £25.40 for that. But just for this hour, we've dropped the price. Take advantage. Great savings to be had. Okay, so that's everything on the show. Do shop ahead. Now, having a look here, this is a great bundle because you've got your card blanks. They are five by five, so nice space uh, for these. Let me just show you. Eleven ninety nine is your price, but look, it's already pre-scored. So without a tool, I haven't got any bone creasing tool or anything. I'm just using the dexterity of my fingers. Because typically at home, and crafts you'll know, if you try and do that normally, like score card, it gets all cracked and it's not very... That is a nice, crisp little seam there. There's your little 5x5, five five, great space. And you're also getting the envelope in the mix as well. 100 sets in total. So the card is 300 GSM, the envelopes are 100 GSM. You're getting 100 of those. So 100 envelopes, 100 card blanks, for 11.99, is this your go-to size? So, cards 300 GSM, envelopes 100, which is what I just said, but you can see that there. 11.99 uh, is your price, but is this all your go-to size? Kim, would this be your, your size of choice, five by five? Yeah, it is, it's one of those. Do you know what I, I like about these size? So, Kim was saying she prefers slightly smaller size. It's not as intimidating having a look at it. And you go think, and that is actually a really good point because sometimes as crafters, if you're staring at, say, a large A4 piece of paper or an 8x8, it can seem a bit daunting. How do I fill it? But here we can add a sentiment. We can just put a delicate frame around there, maybe a die cut. There's so much you can do. Great card size. And also, I'm going to say the word. And I, I'm, it's starting to cre creep into my vernacular. It, it's, it's the C word, Christmas. Um, and I, I, very, I said that, and I had to quickly follow up with Christmas just in case mine's wandered. But look, I, know, I don't want to be that guy who's talking about Christmas, but if you are looking to make your Christmas cards, that is a great size done. That's 100 people we can send it to. So obviously, if you're going to there will be the cards, the slightly larger cards that you're going to spend a lot more time to. Give those to your special people. The kind of card that I give Ben Floor Manager at Christmas. But you know, with that size, I think you could really do batch making your Christmas cards. Fantastic. Eleven ninety nine your price. Look at all the display beautifully as well. You're getting all of your card blanks. You're getting all your envelopes. And you are saving eight pounds. Two two three seven hundred your item number. And if you're a freedom member, Forget that freedom price, uh, sorry, forget the uh, postage and packaging because your freedom price includes it. Unlimited standard P and P. Shall we progress? Okay. Yes. There's certain card stock that I'm a bit of a magpie, I gravitate towards. We are going to enjoy this. We're going to take a bit of time and have a good look at this beautiful holographic mirror board. It's better than half price. And you see how the different colors come through. It's like um, an oil slick. Let me just turn, tilt that there. You've got all these lovely colors, that myriad. It's, it's, it's a bit ethereal. It's got a magical property. Look at, you've, is everyone else seeing that sort of uh, the pink lilacs then graduating to the blues? You've got purples in there as well. Ooh, hoo, hoo, that in itself is very, very special. Okay, that's one piece. But then we've got, now this is nice. You're getting those sort of like columns of light coming through. Excellent. And it's good weight on these as well, 300 GSM, so they're more than enough for your construction. So think about boxes, gift boxes, uh, maybe the tops. Over here, this is nice. This is really nice, actually. Ooh. It's like a panel detail. It's like shattered ice. Isn't that lovely? So, little gift bags. 
or if you wanted to create special cards, matte and layering, sentiments would look fantastic. Cut that out with your dies, your sentiments, or construction as well. I mean, you could put inside of a lantern, put a candle, that's Kim, our producer, come up with that idea. Or how about that? Ooh. Now that would be nice if you wanted to create the illusion of a snow flurry, but make it look quite magical. Imagine how, if you have a die cut of Santa maybe flying through the sky with the reindeer. Nice, yeah. Okay. Or how about this? All of these included in the bundle. You're getting 100 sheets in total. Oh, okay. New favorite. Look at that. That's incredible. It's, it looks like 3D. It's got a movement to it. Yeah, I like that a lot. And then we've got a sort of, is, is it like a mirror? In there you've got your silver. Oh, actually, that's like a gun metal. Let me just show you that. That's, it's a nice, is it, it's a, um, is it like a gold? I think it's like a gun metal. I'd say it's more of a silver, it's not a gold. <laughs> it could be just the warmth of the counter coming through. But you've got your green in there as well. Give that a bit of a wig. Oh yeah, Christmas makes. Hello. Then we have our purple. Matches my top very nicely. There's your purple. And then finally we have the red. So you're getting all of those. We've seen all the designs. This is a very, very special stash that will be winging its way to you. $21.99, but you're getting 100 sheets in total. Now, there was a day, you might have done this years ago, where you go into your local craft shop and you'd buy a piece of just one sheet of premium sort of speciality cardstock and you could pay anywhere from 50 pence to a pound just for one sheet. Fair enough, right? So here, you're getting 100 sheets in total for $21.99. It works out at 21 pence, or let's say 22 pence per sheet. 300 GSM, 100 sheets, it's proving popular. If you want to pop it into your basket, details are on your screen right now, 750-844. Can I just say a big hello to everybody who's watching us on Facebook right now? Who's watching? Oh, we can't see you. We don't have access to that. But if you're watching, hello. I don't have a tablet at the moment. I'm sorry. But uh, I know we always get a lot of viewers watching us right now. So I'm sorry I can't interact directly with you. But thank you so much for tuning in. Now, uh, I'll be honest with you. Clocky, Clocky has been a bit of a diva. And